What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I know my screen looks a little bit different. I need to get used to my sitting position still. Uh, yeah, we got a new desk, we got a new microphone. And we got some other new things like a speaker set and such. It uh, took me a bit of time before I actually managed to get my mic to work properly together with NVIDIA uh, RTX voice slash broadcast. Well, yeah, we should be fine for now. I should be able to not make that much noise. So, welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, let's start working on the game. Okay, so last time we beat the Elite Four, we did the end game thingy, we did the credits, and now we're in post game. And post game requires us to go kick the gym leaders their asses once again. So that is what we're gonna do. And I need to put my sound a little bit lower. Not too low, I hope. It still picks up, like, a sound here and there. But it's not too bad. I hope. We'll see once we start playing a dialogue game. Okay, let's hope that I don't actually have to redo the gym challenges, because I didn't really like them. Flappy what do you want? Yeah, I have one. Okay, uh, the wieners is still getting picked up. Hi Lizzie, how are you? Did you miss me? I uh, was supposed to go live an hour ago, or I want to go live an hour ago. Uh, but my mic was uh, not functioning properly. So uh, yeah, 28 months, Lizzie. Just uh, how many more months till you caught up? So I went on the coffee date, right? Everything went well. Nice. Good. Glad. Just wanted to get in my pants. Yeah. Uh, okay. Eh. After the second date already? Damn. I ain't that type of girl, I just want uh, 85 children, I don't want you to get in my pants yet. <clears throat> Something like that. That's what they want. <laughs> I had completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cakes to my staff. Phew, lucky me. Very well then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength? Yes. Definitely. Just my strength, that's it. Oh, what fun. Let's go somewhere more suited for battle. Mm-hmm. So he kept telling me he was checking me out. Lol. Girl, I was checking you out. <laughs> Yeah, good for you, bro. The eyes are up here. Up here. Up here. And he thought I called him. Lol. I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Yordi. You had such vigor. It was almost as if you had terrestrialized into a fighting type yourself. How many gyms had you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? 
The Coronto gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers just starting out like to come here first. But then mind, La Primera asked me to go soft on trainers like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. <laughs> but opportunities like this gets me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to need you in submission. Well, Lizzie, did you at least have fun? Or uh, was that over uh, kill as well? Okay, let's see what level these guys are. Don't expect me to be sweet today and don't cry when uh, you taste bitter defeat. Wow, cringe. Wow, 65? Wow, okay. That is not very high level, I'm not gonna lie. That's fun. It was nice to be lusted for. <laughs> it was nice to be lusted for, she says. Level 65 is kinda low. And here I thought they at least be level 80. But then again... What else was I expecting? Which is gonna let Zillar carry. Sort of. Stone Edge. Zillar is getting his butt whooped. Also only five Pokemon, which is super cringe. Because, let's be honest, if I wanted to, I could, lol. True... Spit oops, but I don't want to go into shit that fast. You know, that makes sense. To each their own. Perseverance is porn for bug types. It's time to leap towards victory. My sweet little bear, show me your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon. the first uh, gym rematch it was way too easy. Yeah, people these days have way too much peppers in their ass. At least that's how us Dutch people would say it in Dutch. Paper in the raid. That was quite the battle. I must say that your skills rival that of even La Primera. Ah, how sweet is it to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I'm beginning to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Coronto gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. So Lizzie, what are you up to today? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Working... Also, you know what's funny? No, I don't. Are you gonna tell me? I wore zero makeup to both dates. Oh. 
Okay. Just questioning why that is funny, but sure. But sure. <laughs> Are we gonna do the battles on order like last time? I think I'm just gonna pick out whichever one is closest by. Because he was still into me. Lizzie doing a good job, it seems. Lizzie keeping herself healthy and good looking. Okay, time to go uh, beat up uh, Brasius. You are Jordi? No, you are the artist Jordi Garde. It's the champion, actually. That is of no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I'm so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I had planned to meet with the top champion today, but I have just now cancelled that plan. Shall we instead talk of art together? Sure, let's go. What? You came in the top champion stead? Well, I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Yordi, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? There was an announcement in the Discord. I think. Where's my Discord, anyways? I had to restart my computer like 15 times before I finally managed to fix my uh, new mic. Avant-garde! Very. Oh, wait, no, there is no. No, you're right. I actually don't have Streamlabs chat pulled open. To the world of farts. Avant-garde! Very well then. Let us head to my studio. Zillar, you are completely correct. That uh, notation of uh, one on my Discord thingy is uh, just that there's another video somewhere or another something something. Ooh, menu storage glitch? Oh, we gotta check that out. Behold, Jordi, the sight of Artazon's windmill. It catches the wind that blows across Paldea and slowly yet powerfully spins ever so on. My leaping down from that windmill to appear before those who would challenge my gym lends an added depth to our battles. I see. I knew you would understand my reasoning, Yordi. <laughs> Though I believe I can spare my legs today, as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do not alight from above. But I digress. We are both artists, are we not? We have no further use for words now. I assume you're ready. Let our collaborative work of art begin. That's for not inviting Zoli. I'm sorry, Zoli. I uh, should have known better. Should have done a better job at being a streamer. But apparently uh, fixing my mic was too much of a job for me today. Look, Ziller, you're back alive, though! Look! It is Ziller! Let us ponder the art we will create together, Yordi. Oh, did you not notice that? Yeah, you died like uh, two streams ago. And uh, your Daro died as well during that. The only one of our aces that was left alive was the Almighty. Of who we did an art piece today, by the way. Or finished an art piece. Which is in the Discord. Slap Jordy. <laughs> Ow. Why does everyone have to slap me today? You brought me back? Yeah, because we're past the credits. So, uh... That means uh, we start over, or sort of.
But until uh, the credits rolled, you were uh, dead. Sort of. You were in Valhalla. Figuratively. It's the one and only Sepilepiding Long. Sepilepiding Dong Dling Long. Ah, I'm a pervert! I finally fixed my mic. I don't think it's up to standard as it was, but it's better than before. I can uh, not hear my controller anymore, at least. Wait, it started raining? Oh, that's cringe. <laughs> ding ding dong. Seppa <laughs> leppa ding dong. That's what it is, not ding ding dong. Um, now we're over leveled anyways, we might as well just fucking hit it with the... Uh... Oh yeah, wait, I can only use flamethrower. Uh, we should kill them anyways. Seppelek the ping pong. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh, how is Seppi? How is Zilly? Wow, it actually survived. Oh, it has 30. One, one of those balls. Which one, Lizzie? The Terra Balls? Oh, Jesus Christ. It looks like a galaxy. A galaxy far, far away. Avant-garde! Is that a tree or a hot dog? It's a rock. It's not a dog or a tree. <laughs> Retose and yet gentle, such contrast. I lack the words to express it. My head goes off to you. My battle with you... Battles with you are truly a gift. Each time I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first ventured into this world of art. Ah, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection in the top champion stead, correct? Well, that is of no consequences. Report on my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Sadabada! Yordi sure does love the, those shorts. No, I hate them. But nothing looks good in this game. It really pissed me off that they forced us to wear a fucking school uniform. But that's the one and only downside, though. Everything else is pretty Gucci. We don't have a Senpai uh, sound command. I need to get a Uzaki-chan saying, uh, Senpai! Yeah. That is uh, probably the best Senpai voice I've heard in a long time. Go, Juji sama Okay, let's see. We're gonna be fighting Electric-type Jim. So, we're using... Yordado. Electric these nuts. Electric my nuts. My nuts are made of electricity. Primera, your eyeballs are mine. Caught in the electro web. Who's uh, what's it? Yo no. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita. 
It's -a me, Yordi. Say what? You just became a champion and you're already helping La Primera? Weren't you just doing my gym test like yesterday? You really kicked butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab. I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. <laughs> I didn't know you had those. Electric balls? Yeah, neither did I. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm gonna uh, give you a show you'll never forget. And I know about you, but I think it's about time we get down to it. What do you say? Yeah! Here we go, off to Battlelands. Now this emote makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's where my uh, electricity comes from uh, in my aura. <laughs> Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour, welcome to Yono Zone, it's me, Yono. Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Yordi. You're going viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You're all we're talking about recently. Remember your gym test? Well, it was bzzzt, shocking. This stream's gonna trend like crazy, can't wait to see those viewers' numbers go up, 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 up. Alright, here we go. Got that camera set up just how I like it. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get this battle started. We'll call this stream Gym Leader Yono Battles like you've never seen before. I just realized she might use Magneton or Magnezone. Or Flying type, apparently. Uh. Time to put my serious face. Eyes wide open like Magnemite so you don't miss a thing. Yeah, okay, it's not like they're very high level and I gave myself hidden ability so I can just swap typings to the type attack that I'm using. That's why I like my cat. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, I can only use play rough now because I have fucking attack. Uh... It's an avocado. Oh yeah, Sep, how did that go? Luxray, my favorite boyo. I want to use my Luxray, but I accidentally overleveled it even higher than we're already at. Oh, it survived. Root? My shiny elixir aim. But it was not meant to be. If I can't knock out Luxray, can I look, knock out Electrode? You already got smacked. Yep. Okay. Our last Pokemon is Miss Dreavus, I think, right? Oh, Miss Magius, sorry, same thing. Okay, let's go send out our uh, big boy dragon. Excalibur. Hey, you already quit hogging the limelight and let me shine a bit, yo. I'm sorry, I'm a champion. I'm too good for this shit. Uh, just Dragon Claw it. Fuck that. Should have called Excalibur Becky because Becky Smash. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. Becky Smash. Nobody said anything about naming it Becky, so... Didn't think about it. Plus, am I actually a female dragon or am I a male dragon?
Oh, he is female. She is female. Guys, we still have like a few Pokemons to name. I got some other Pokemons in the box as well that I need to name. It's Godzilla! Man, I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but... Listen, I'm 20 levels above your shite. It can be helped. Look at all those viewer numbers. The Yono Zone's on a roll today. I'm on cloud 9. No, cloud 10. Having someone as popular as you on my stream was a great idea. I'm trending like the internet's mad at me. You should call up like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channels, though. Alright, don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell La Primera what the sensation I was, okay? You mean how easily I kicked your ass? Eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who's a what's it? Yono signing off. No, I'm only going on my channel. Once I can get rid of this school uniform. You know? Uh, we still have to name three Pokemon in this team. Then we have to name... Uh, King Gambit, our Luxray, our Perserker, our Golden Go. Well, we have Spook, Scorvillain, Cerulege, Azumarill, another Azumarill, and Toadscrawl. So uh, come up with some names, boys, girls. I've been hearing that you all have way too many points, so uh, spend. Go ahead and spend some. You don't have an avoca avocado. I do have an avocado. It's called Lizio. Look, here. Avocado Lizio. It's more of a frog, though. But, uh, you know. <laughs> um... Yeah, just don't blame me. I didn't uh, think of the names. I think it was uh, Sep that did it this time. <laughs> I named myself. Oh. Well, uh, then I didn't blame anyone, okay? <laughs> I had forgotten. I want to ask Sep again, what did you think of my drawing? Because I thought that I didn't get an answer yet, but I remember I got an answer. Biddy bitty beep bitty La da na 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 Ta da ta 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 na 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 Bra Ra Apparently the kitchen smells bad What kitchen? The kitchen in the church? Someone forgot their lunchbox. Ew. Vault in Veluza. Look who it is. I was expecting someone else. The top champion. Aha, I see. Miss Kita put you up to this, did she? It feels like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges, and now look at you. Already champion rank. Yeah, I mean, I did start like um, 7 plus 2, 9 days ago. The break room kitchen. Well, Lizzie's never going on break again. Look, you're like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life. What a great catch. And now this, our promising up-and-comer here to test my abilities himself. Don't worry, this old man's used to facing harsh reviewers. Part of the restaurant business. A restaurant. All right then. 
you're ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called gym leader? Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear right this way. I still want to be a dragon gym leader. Because dragons are dope. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed f fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well with, with being worthy of champion rank. Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean. That water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I'm Kofu, the torrent, ever-changing just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. The level raised yet a bit. Good ingredients don't need no cover of spices. Get ready for fresh raw. If it says 65, ah, bollocks. Psycho cut. Avocado is gonna smash everything. At least I hope, otherwise, it needs swap out. <sighs> Wug Trio, Wug Wug, Chug Chug. Bumping Tantrum. Super effective, but Lizio is bulky as heck. Yeah, that's why you're on the team, Lizzie, because you tank. And every hit you take makes you stronger. Every step I take. Oh, with sir. The tankiest of tanks. You spin me right round, baby, right round Like a record, baby Right round, right round Crab on the mole <laughs> Betting down to the H's and preparing for a storm It's what makes battling exciting I seriously thought when I read up on this that the levels would be at least like, what, level 80 or something. <sighs> but they're not higher. I don't even need to... terraform... terrestrialize... Everything just dies. <laughs> what a refreshing loss. My mind's as clear as still water. That's the uni brown of uni browns, yo. You really put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera's seal of approval. What a catch! The wildest currents, for better or worse, pull in everything around them and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew! What a youthful vigor. Your youthful vigor's got me all 
so got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friends, and you come back to see me again, now you hear? Or rather not. Unless you suddenly start running a full team of level 100 Pokémon with uh, a slightly water-based competitive build, because otherwise it's not fun. Not fun enough. Okay, next Pokémon to go, or next gym. On to the normal gym. At least he not sleep well enough. Okay, the normal gym is for the almighty. Have to go to a baby shower later too. I did, but I don't know why I'm still sleepy. I see, I see. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but it seems I've got a visitor with no appointment instead. There's absolutely something she do. No, no. Understand everything, I assure you. Look forward to her battle then. Oh, of course. It's no problem. La Primera is my boss, so I have to do as she says. Now she's ordering students around. I see, so you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the Academy. But whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? Face me during the elite test, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal as in plain, average, unremarkable, run of the mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know. They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. People, Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor, something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home even after a fun vacation. Well, all said and done, simplicity is strongest. Uh, what you say, old man, whatever you say. But I got this pink uh, thing over here that uh, has a giant ass hammer and is about to smack your ass across the flame. Flame? Flames? Boss takes some getting used to, you know. Got your work card cut out for you. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that... Um, what is my... Item? Oh yeah, I remember. Flame. Wow, it actually didn't kill. F. Yes, flame though. And go get Pokemon Violet or Crystal or Scarlet, and then you can have your piggy Pokemon Lizzie. Dun Dun Sparse. I assume ground time? No, it should technically be a fighting type. That I need to use, but I don't have a fighting type. So instead we're using Play Rough. Jesus, what's with these bulky ass normal types? 
the Almighty was almost deaded. It's a uh, normal type. Because it's uh, just your regular average Joe. But, but, no buts. But, but, mud! Go, Mala. My brain hurts. Lizzie, are you tired and have a headache? Oh yeah, I forgot that specs only allows for um, discharge now. I don't have a headache. Oh. Okay. Piggy should be drones. That's only in the, your universe, Lizzie. These Pokemon even have ground pigs. Ground pig types. I don't think we have ground pig types. You're playing strong, aren't you? Also, I'm kicking ass. Who's ass? Oh yeah, Lizio. Is kicking ass. Truth. My god, me! What's up, Lizzie? Have you seen the new show? -y? What new show? Wednesday on Netflix. Nope. I haven't seen Wednesday on Netflix from the Adams family. Should I? Oh, Seppi, here's that. You're a bit too much for an average Joe like me to handle. But I think I understand now why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four. I mean, in a scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well throbbed paths. It'll do me good to admire a talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. It's really good. Okay. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. I don't know what to think of Larry. He's such an average Joe and has, like, this plain-ass demeanor about him. I mean, she is Mexican. Had to be good. Of course, says the Mexican. Um, we're flying. Look, Jordi, it's a big deal.
what is exactly a big deal. My people hardly lend roles in that... like that in American shows. We are underrepresented. Okay. Okay. She's fucking pretty, it's stupid how I find her attractive. Like... We always get the funny side character, friend. Never into movie stars and stuff. Oh, if it isn't Yorty, it's been too long. It's literally been like three days, but sure. Beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. You're a swell tulip. Who taught you the art of flattery? It's my young friend, all grown up now. So you're here in place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. The bewitching aura of hers overlaps too much with my own style. So, it may be for the best that she sent someone else for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. I don't think too much about it. Without further ado, are you ready to pursue quintessential beauty together? Sure. Her fucking dress and shoes have fucking flapping wings. It's distracting, you know. Ah, the rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. But do they also have flapping wings the entire time? Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes the feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. The diamond in the rough that I helped to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest emotion I allow, I allow is the beauty of surprise. Allow me to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. Disappointing. You are challenged by Gym Leader Tulip. Ragrath! You want to know the secret of my beauty? I'll enroll you in my most difficult hands-on course. Actually, I don't want to know. It sounds way too difficult, flapping your wings like hers, Jordi. I don't have any wings, though. Wing it like you mean it! You're late! A A A. Demons have wings too, you know. He's cheating, she has too many multi types. Aspathra. Aspathra. I hit too hard, yo. I said that already. I'm also level 80 plus. What else did you expect? A challenge? <laughs> Florgress. Florgress. Just knock it off again. Because she's going pure psychic type anyways. I 
I bet that if we started God of War tomorrow, we could finish God of War before uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core comes out. But I'm not sure if I want to. Because that would mean that I need to suddenly figure out a good piece for thumbnail on God of War. And I've been thinking about it, but I can't think of it, of anything that isn't going to uh, challenge my brain too much, at least. What, Lizzie, you bought me near Automata and the uh, near uh, remake? Oh, you shouldn't have. Or at least pale enough to be one. Pale enough to be what? You're the total package, expect no less. Beauty, strength, you've got it all. You know, in my line of work, people who lack talent in one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. Met with all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption in their desperation and end up even more miserable than the mundane do. Yordi is pale enough to be one, an angel. Are angels supposed to be pale? Not according to the Netflix series Lucifer. But I wouldn't fit in as an angel. It would be better for those people if they never had even the slightest bit of talent to begin with. Don't fade away, Yordi. I want to see just how far your talent can go. This can be a promise between us. I hope you won't break it. You did splendid today. Thank you for everything. That's just racial stereotyping. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, anything that is pale is not an angel. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> okay, I made funny. Pale and redhead. See, that is that is how corrupt religion actually is. The demons have already set their pictures in churches before we know it. <laughs> cringe, Shorty. What the hell? Cringe. And underneath it says, Yordi descended from the heavens. You mean fell from the heavens. Got sent down. He wasn't allowed to stay. Pick which could shatter bones. Okay, now I'm questioning, is that a, a reference I'm supposed to be able to understand, Siddler? In the crotch of Indiana Jones. <laughs> Never really liked those movies. Well, if it isn't my little challenger, Yordi. What brings you back here, baby? Finally ready for that rap battle? Hold on, you're telling me La Primera sent you to check on my gym? So instead of her, I get you? She sent a rookie champion instead of coming out herself? Doesn't she know who I am? Sorry, I got heated there. Don't worry though. You aren't the one who struck that nerve. Oh well, I was just thinking I'd like to see you again anyway. Guess this is just how fate has it. If we're doing this, let's do it. Ready to show me how strong all your adventures made you? Much too strong. 
No, that's the spirit. Come on, let's put on a killer show. Mm, who is the Pokemon on my second? Because I bet we're going into a double battle again. I feel like it's just yesterday that you were here for your gym test. Now you're all championed up and out doing errands for La Primera herself. I'll tell you something. You get to be my age, time starts passing you by fast. But that sentimental style knot's worth it in my while. Time to kick a rhyme and hit the flow, let's go. Reading is hard. My spirit's burning, yearning to get this battle churning. You best be ready to begin. Our little champion is coming into his own. Come on, baby, rattle me down to the bone. Bayonet. Oh, this is okay, team, actually. Come on, rookie, show me you deserve to be called a champion. You better know what you're asking for. Because I don't hold back. I'm gonna bitch slap all yo Pokemon. Because I went pure dark. Yep, I killed Jordaro. Ooh. Lizzie, look what you did! Look what you did! Uh, I blame Protein. Thunderstorm! And speedy to tomb. Okay, let's see. What is the game plan here? Oh, yeah, only bite. Ice slap. Let's just hope it doesn't have anything like a uh, full absorb or something. Because then you're just kind of boned. Wow, the spirit tomb actually survives. Yeah, I do have bones. You're right. Jones Bones. You're cool, my friend. You move my soul. Of course, you say that. All looking mad that I kicked your ass. Haha, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to rattle me that much. He caught me off guard just like Shadow Sneak. Sorry for calling you a rookie. Hope we're good. Just wanted to prove the strength of ghost types, Gita. But I guess I got carried away. You're the real deal, my friend. I can guarantee that. From here on out, Rhymes got your back. If you run into any vexing trainers or hexing specters, you just give me a call. Now you go and enjoy this big wide world to the fullest, you hear me? Later, baby. A later. Later, baby. And that's where Justin Bieber's song pops up. 
Okay, one more gym to go. You know, I could have easily done this, like, off stream. But where's the fun in that? Let's just uh, go to the next gym, the ice type gym. We're gonna use Zilla again. Huh, I recognize you. You're here to hit the slopes? I don't recall the snow being too good today. I'm here for a battle. Oh, for real? I've got something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Oh, I see. You're here to call for Gita. Gita. So your dream came true. You are a champion rank now. You must be so happy. Oh, my bad. That sounded a lot more sarcastic than I intended. Or do you need a jacket like that? No, I don't. That's way too warm for me. Don't get me wrong, I really think it's amazing. Just, it's complicated for me, that's all. Anyway, you came to test my skills, right? Let's just get this over with. It's also very woolly, and I hate that. Let's head outside. You'd best be hoping it's not snowing. Oh, I actually forgot to put Ziller up front. Oh well. You like the swoosh wish jackets? I don't know what that means. The weather's in your favor today. Guess the snowy monks decided to be kind. The league's mandated inspection happened a few times a year. If we don't show we're up for the job, we'll lose our positions as gym leaders. Gita always says it's just formality, but I've already had to give up on being a pro snowboarder. If she takes away the talents I still have to show, uh, what will be left? Sorry, didn't mean to bring the temperature down. It's simply enough, really. All I need to do is make sure my power of my Pokemon chills you to the bone. The jackets that go swoosh and swish. Lizzie slapped me. <laughs> uh, I still don't. Uh, no, I still don't get it, uh, Lizzie. Frostmort. Conditions are all right. I guess good enough to defeat you anyway. Oh, you and your smug face. We're just gonna... Burn or melt the mountain again. Bear tick. Hurimathrua. Lizzie also slapped the cat by accident. She didn't realize how strong she actually was. Did not. Yes, you did. You electrocuted my grass cat. You literally slammed, send him to heaven for a few seconds. 
did not. <laughs> I did not hit her. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Ooh, Nani. Now Seppi is confusing me. Also, Lizzie, you did so. Time to bring the deep freeze. The fact that I know what that is. <laughs> Will you guys stop having all the ins and outs on each other? Just because I'm a pleb that hides in his home all the day, all the time, doesn't mean I don't have feelings. It's the best worst movie ever. The best worst movie ever. I love the room. Even Zoli knows. The room sounds like a horror movie. It's not. You're my most favorite customer ever. Hi, doggy. So does that mean we uh, have to go watch this The Room? Oh, you're burning passion. I kinda like it, to be honest. I'm just questioning everything. Man, Ethan must really have it out for me. Sending someone there is no way I could beat. Still, no regrets on my part. I gave it everything I had. And it was nothing. <laughs> I'm seriously waiting that Endgame is like actually challenging and not just dumb. Let's talk about cancer and never bring it up ever again. <laughs> Because the first 15-30 minutes is just sex scenes. I hit you full force and I lost anyway. It made me feel frustrated. Makes me want to become stronger as a gym leader. Put more of myself into it. I thought my passion had frozen over, but you rekindled it for me. What? Belly button sex? I won't lose next time, you'll see. Okay, maybe we shouldn't watch the room either way, because it sounds hella confusing. Try not to catch a cold on your way down the mountain, eh? In my shorts and t-shirt. And then it's never brought up again. Roto to to to. Hello, am I speaking to Champion Jordi? This is Gita. How's your inspection of the gyms going? I'm done with all of them. You've done a wonderful job, thank you. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Yordi. All of them seemed quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I would like to ins the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy in the entrance hall. I will be waiting for you there. The best actor in the entire movie is the drug dealer. So anyways, how's your sex life? You don't talk about my sex life. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist. Okay, time to go back to the Akdamai. Dee doo be doo boo ba pra pa da 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 pra pra.
You okay, Jordi? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not choking on my own breath. <laughs> Good day, champion Jordi. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? Love it. That's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago and I was the one who came up with the new design. It looks great though. I'm not much of a book person, but uh, the aesthetic of libraries, especially good looking ones like this, is uh, very pleasing to me. More importantly, I would very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Uh, think about it, this location is perhaps a little too public. Do you know anywhere quiet where we might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? Are we actually going to my room? Pray, I pray not. Wow! Yes, this is very privately. So this is the dorm room where you live. Lady, what are you doing in my room? Girl in your room joke again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wonder if this room would help nurture your potential as a champion. I've only been in this room like three times during my entire playthrough, so I... Nah. Nah, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. In the near future, perhaps. I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. Anyway, let us get to the topic at hand. I would very much like to hear your report now that you've inspected the gym leaders. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel was the easiest to face in battle? They were all easy! They're all easy! <laughs> uh, I mean... I don't like Larry, so we're saying Larry. Larry? I see. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? Yono. Oh, Yono. Now, which gym leader gave you the most trouble during battle? Well, only Rhyme, but that was due to Blizzy using Discharge after getting a power buff and Okoing uh, my cat. Of course you'd say Rhyme. Next is the last most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Okay, now I have to think. Which one of the gym leaders did I like the most? The chick with the butterflies? Chick with the butterflies? Chick with the butterflies. You mean the sweet uh, bug gym leader? Oh, her? No, no, no. She was too much into, I'm pretty, I hate that, ah! No, 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 I think, um, uh, I think it's Yono, because Yono is just hyper energetic and streamer, just like me. Oh, Yono. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. Your perspective was fascinating, Champion Yordi. No doubt it will assist me when running the organization. Please accept this as a thanks. We got a free King's Rock. I do not have a crush, okay? Ugh! If anything... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna continue that sentence. So, I'll most definitely be joining the tournament we discussed in the director's office. I'm sure champion named Mona will be pleased too. Finish your sentence. No. I don't feel like it. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. How dare she tell me to take it easy? I'm a full grown ass child, okay? I'm 10 years old. I can go to bed whenever the fuck I want.
thanks to Nimona pushing uh, and a bit of cooperation from the Pokémon League, the day finally arrived for the Great Pokémon Battle Competition to be held. Calm down, did you change your diaper before bed? <laughs> Uh, Mom, I don't need a diaper anymore! <laughs> hey, Jordi! I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting, memorable. But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. And then even Director Kalfel got into calling it that, so now I'm just like, ah! Anyway, how you feeling, Jordi? In the mindset to do some winning? Hell yeah. There's that enthusiasm. Show us what a champion's made of. It's so cool that La Primera is gonna make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. Wish I didn't have my hands full with all the behind the scenes admin stuff. I don't even get to do any battling myself. Aw, oh, poor Demona. But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No Stalin! Yeah, I like Nemona's energy best. There you are, Yordi. You've got, you've got to go through the application process with the staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? Doesn't even have a name. He's just mister. Alright, the rules of the Ace Academy tournaments are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose once and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. The last trainer standing, the only person to win all their matches, will be deemed the best of all the Academy Aces. Thank you very much! We hashed out the tournament rules with help from Director Cavill. Based on the number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget, you might go up against the faculty too. They're tough stuff. So good luck and be uh, even tougher. Tethered! The only person allowed to beat you is me! Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Hello there, would you like to enter the Academy Ace Tournament? Heck yes, bro! Master Yordi, a champion rank trainer, right? Yes. Okay, you're all registered as contestant. Please head down to the battle court. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Naraja Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Yodi. For real? That's amazing! Bien hencho, muchacho! <laughs> what the fuck? Woo, way to go, champ! It gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Ms. Nemona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see for yourself the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talent of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. 
Now without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin! Look at him doing like... Whoosh, even without his uh, pompadour. Alright. Let's jump right into the first round, everyone. Who will be the fate... Who will the fates pair up today? Champion Yordi will be facing Arvin from Class 2G! You gotta be kidding me, up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. So how about it, Yordi? Bet you're surprised to see me in the tournament, right? Actually, no. Wait, you actually thought I would sign up for this thing? Boy, I guess you really do get me. No wonder we're best buds. See, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove me, drove home for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special super serious training with my Bostiff and my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today I'm here to win, even if it might only be a, by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. I like Arvin's progress throughout the story, though. He was like a such naughty prick at first, and now he's like sort of kind of nice, I guess. I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going to going after this win without holding back. Let's see the level. Holy shit! I, come on, game. I feel a little bit rude over leveling like this. Wow, Greedon survived. That's, uh, cringe. <sighs> Let's use Lizio. Oh. Who are we swapping in? We haven't used Grafaii today yet. It's our one shiny on the team, so... Gargonsoul? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's this butthole. Huh. Uh, hmm. I guess we're uh, swapping in uh, Mr. Almighty. Mr. Boombastic, call me fantastic. Oh, now, can't, now we can't switch anymore. Well, we technically can, but we'll just take damage. Gigaton Hammer! Go villain. Let's go with Skitter Smack. Shh. Oh, fire blast. I'm a pervert! Toad scroll. Grass ground. If I remember correctly. Skitter smacks more effective, apparently. Cloister, cloister. Oh, 
Last one is my boasty freight. Don't have anything super effective against my boast thief. Oh yeah, we do have fairy type attack. I think that's super effective. But I'm gonna use Grafai. See if he can do anything. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed, no leftovers. Fuck. Start with a gun short. Let's light up the school battle brawl, my bow stiff, brighter than anyone. Anybody? Both Thief has this big ass grin on his face. Ha! Get poisoned, bitch. Psychic fangs. Mm. Ah, but I got HP back thanks to Black Sludge. Poison jab! So strong and cool. I'm really proud to call you my best friend, you know. And the winner of the first round battle is Champion Yordi. Whoa! Alright, that's Professor's Kid put up a heck of a fight. What a spicy start, and that's only the first match. Phew, strength of champion is legit. It hurts to lose. But I'm proud of you, little buddy. Quit calling me little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. You better try just as hard as I would have in round two for me. Bruh. I'll try the hardest I can try. Next up is round second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Yordi will be facing Jacques, the biology teacher. Hello, hello, Yordi. I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. Won't lie, feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. Hoping? Jacques. Jour hmm. Show me what you've got in your own way and at your own pace. Intimidate. This is fucking typical, yo. Let me see. Everyone gets their HP recharged. Yeah. Uh, what are you turning out of this uh, bitch place? And then we're going into Zillar because he has flash fire. This Arcanine does not have flash fire, so I can technically use flamethrower and probably kill still as well, right? Yeah, nice.
Mudsdale, Mudsdale, that, that is gonna fuck me up. So we go put your Dyro back up. Do 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 do. -do. Flower trick, protein. Omae wa mo shindaru. Slow bro, easy. Flower trick. Jordy needs a drink. Lurantis. Lurantis? Oh, that's this thing. And only hit it with Flower Trick due to Choice Band. Apple up a ding dong. Are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Yes, with lots of love. Okay, that's not it. I butcher them every day. <laughs> Pokemon Terrestrialization. Hmm. What type is he gonna go into? I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, it survived. You did great. And the winner of the second round battle is Champion Yordi. <laughs> you beat me. You're quite a strong trainer, aren't you, Yordi? You're more fit for the you know, for the teaching profession than I am with the boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jacques, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh-oh. Hi, director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> well, I'm going to get yelled at. Good luck in the uh, coming battles. Because I'm 20 levels above these weak ass mofos. 
Jordy is highly disappointed. Kendra, the battle studies teacher. Also, new kick. I have a name, woman. A name. This school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And I hear you're the reason why we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid? No. Champion Yordi finally took her only fucking 70 hours of gameplay. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in battle, can I? So don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm going to give it all I've got. Oops! Ow. Starting off with links. <sighs> Let's have a good clean battle, okay? Best of luck. I wouldn't be surprised if she actually has a full team of fighting types, so we're just gonna go with... Um... Holy shit! First impression, bro! Lucha. It is a fighting type. Eh. And I miss. Are you fucking kidding me? Iron Head. Your Daro actually got defeated. The impossible has become possible again. Guess it's time for uh, the almighty Sep to come from behind Rodaro to show the world the true power. Defeated by a Mexican Pokemon. No, Sep has my back. That's what I'm trying to say. I know that Sep has my back. <laughs> God damn it. Might not have been what I said, but it's what I meant. Come on, we know better now that Jordi doesn't know how to properly speak. one is Medicham. Medicham. Let's just stay in. I'll terrestrialize because it's fun. Kick. Pfft. Is X Kick the new high jump kick? Comes, but when he comes, he's not only he's not the only one that comes. Wink, wink. Wow.
Got real fighting, you new kid. This battle really stoked my fighting spirit. Hariyama. Aim to push past your limits day by day. Oos! Round three, one more round to go, and we never have to do this shit again. I've seen you owned your honed your skills, new kid. Us, us. And the winner of this third round battle is Champion Yordi. No way, I got crushed. Hey, at least you managed to take out one of my Pokemon. Nobody's been able to do that so far. But I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament and don't forget Okay, we've said Osu enough now, right? Do we need to say it even more? There is one last match in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce the two trainers who will be facing off to finally determine who's strongest in the academy. It's Champion Yordi up against a special guest joining our tournament, the top champion, Gita. Good day, Champion Yordi. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. Own strength against own strength. Owned? Honed strength, Yordi. Honed. Such a clash is what captures the crowd and makes their heart race. It's extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find the situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Yordi, our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let us let me show you the full might of the top champion. Suddenly, she is the only trainer that appears with fucking hundred uh, level hundred Pokemon. Espathra. Okay, so what level are your Pokemon? At least, let there at least be level 70. Let's set an example for everyone, you and I. Fuck! 69? 60 fucking 9? Let's knock this bitch off. Yeech! Go goat. Okay, let's actually try hardball, right? Swap into the correct Pokemon. To keep flexing. And let's go watch uh, Zilla use a Kamehameha. Or Final Flash, whatever you want to call it. Avalog. Sure, Ice type. We'll send another final flash.
in Gambit. Could King Gambit be faster than me? I like how she keeps throwing Pokemon that are weak against fire at me. Oh, gain strength of the fall opposing fallen one. Fa the fallen Pokemon something something. Anyway, goodbye. The Veluza. Isn't that the water type? Yeah, it was the water type. Or is. Oh, well, it's faster than me. Cringe. It didn't even swap in, like. Why didn't she swap in this uh, thing when she was fighting my fire type before? <laughs> weak ass AI be weak. Okay, so I don't remember what Glamora's typing is. Poison <clears throat> is one for sure. And I don't really get to swap out. Okay. Sep, we're leaving it up to you, the Almighty. We'll make this match a fitting one for the final. A grand spectacle. Glimora. Yeah, okay, pure poison type. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glimora. This rock type. That would still make it super effective, yeah. Toxic debris. Clap. The future of Paldea is bright indeed. Oh, shove it down your pipe. Uh, unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament. And thus the strongest trainer in the whole academy is champion Yordi. Woo! Yordi, you did it! You did it! Yordi! 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 Everyone, come on! Yordi! 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 Your day. Yeah. Nobody joined in the, into the chanting. Gita, <laughs> fuck you, Lizzie. No! I beat Gita! I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bonds they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off any of the matches. Taking lessons from traditions, growing stronger and greater. That is our motto at Naranja Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up here. I now turn the floor over to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry of the trainers, the cheering and encouragement of the crowd. I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the Academy. No, for the whole Peldia region to become more lively and energized. Champion Yordi was far stronger today than when he took po the Pokemon League's final test. No shit! Back then I was only level 65 and now almost level 90 Pokemon. <clears throat> it's clear that he strives to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aimed for new heights. 
and that the seeds for many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now, alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But! This event seems to me to be... This event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build rapport between faculty and students and invigorates the wider community beyond our walls. So, hereby declare that the ACE, the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Oh, awesome! Director Kalfa, you're the best! Woo! Maybe I'll join next time too! Oh my gosh, yes! This is everything I wanted! I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Absolutely. Wouldn't miss it for anything. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. Yay! Thank you! Yay! Arigato! Woo! This is the second one. No, this is the first one. Jordi, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all! I'm so happy, it almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arfan's stupid school battle brawl name. Second. What do you mean, second? Oh yeah, here's your prize. Sporty Cap, Pokemon League. Woo! Director Cavill told me he got caught up in all the excitement and I forgot to give it to you. Can change your stupid shorts? No, I can't. It's still stupid shorts. So I guess you get strongest in the school throne for now, Yori. Keep it warm for me. I'm gonna be in the tournament next time, and I'll be coming right for you. Whenever you feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staffer at the front desk. You know, Yori, I've relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I met you. I mean it. Me too. I mean it. Keep your brain straight, Yordi. Keep your brain straight. Keep your brain straight. <laughs> Come on, don't make me blush. Anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. Wait a minute. Roto to to to. Are those shorts? Or diver? <laughs> no, those are shorts. Hello, hello, Jordi. This is Jacques. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I'm sure, I sure am proud to have one of my students become an Academy Ace. <clears throat> Mr. Jacques. Uh, uh, don't worry, Director Cavill. I'll get to the point now. I'm actually calling to tell you that highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting reports after reports from Academy students about their Pokémon getting injured. The teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit short-handed. So, we were wondering if we could enlist your help, since you are the Academy's ace and all. How about it, Jordi? Leave it to me. Woohoo, thank you. Your Pokédex automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just take on a lot of these tough terror raid battles. But don't get in over your head, even the Academy's ace needs to be careful. Sure, I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyways, we're counting on you. Dun 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 dun. Okay, it's time to change our uh, setup to Pokemon capturing mode for a bit. Um, oh, wrong button. Lucy.
Okay, first things first, we're heading home! We're gonna go see our mom, who we haven't seen since we started playing the game. Like always. Apparently she's supposed to give us more uh, food recipes that we're not going to use. Mamma mia, here we go again, my, my, how can I resist you? You already won a nice surprise, have you been enjoying that treasure hunt of yours? It makes me so happy seeing you learn and grow in the great outdoors, so I prepared some things to help you on your adventure. Here, there are sandwich recipes just for you, so you can fit even more veggies into your meal. Ugh. 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 I've uh, gotten better at making sandwiches, yes. But uh, what the game decides to be a sandwich is very uh, lackluster. Like some sen some of the sandwiches they tell you to make are just like bread, butter, and then a bit of salad on it or something. It's really cringy. Hey guys, you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna catch four legendary Pokemon that I couldn't catch before. But we've, uh, on the off screen, I found all the pins so that we can grab them now. A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Touch it. Psst, psst, touch it. Just touch it. Rattle, rattle, rumble, rumble, rumble. Kerbang! Yordi's dead. Nah, fam. I uh, prepared very well for this. Saved actually. No, let's just hope uh, it doesn't have a recoil move. Chin. Dark grass type. <laughs> Woo, poop, what? Okay, on to number. Two, three, five hundred, whatever. While we're here. Is this a high level raid or is this a low level? I need to do raids as well. Let's see, high or low? Not really that great, but fuck it. Uh, we want to use the fairy Azumarill. Going alone. 
How low can you go? What was the typing it went into anyways? Didn't pay attention to that. Ice type. So smart. Belly drum. Did use the shield though, which kind of sucks. Did we just go superpower this time. Play rough. Boom, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Wait, you're still alive? Bullshit. Oh, it actually had aftermath on it. Funny. Don't catch it. Music makes you lose control. Music makes you lose control. Yeah, I can't directly fly to the next gate because I haven't seen it yet. I don't actually know where it is either. Oh, it's there. Before you touch it this time, make sure you save. So what is this? Oh, it's just a green looking bastard. Oh, wrong, wrong direction. If it was yellow, I should have called it, because then it was shiny. Is my autosave on, by the way, or is it off? On, we're turning it off. The goal is to finish the Pokedex today. But it just means I need a little bit of luck trading later on. Touch me, touch me, touch it, touch me, touch me. Rattle, rattle, rumble, rumble, rumble. Okay, which one is this? I've only seen two of these uh, legendaries so far. The tree one and this one. This one's cool, though. A leopard with fucking swords through his fucking mouth. Is it even a leopard? It looks more like a weasel at this point. This one is cool. Welcome back, Lizzie. Sword of Ruin. Defense of all surrounding Pokemon has been weakened. You're a weasel. Excuse me, I am the weasel, okay? <laughs> I 
Uh, I should throw my quick ball instead of dealing damage to it first. It's be like, okay, sure, whatever, mate. Oh, that actually uh, hurts, bitch. I did save for him, so I shouldn't have to worry about uh, him getting killed by his own attacks. Okay, can't. Chien Pao! Shen Pao! Your Pokedex has been updated. Yeah, bitch! Better. Okay, uh, I need to catch a Pokemon here as well. This Pokemon is not specifically very special. Well, it it is a ex Titan Pokemon, and it is uh, a Paradox Pokemon, but not really that special, you know. <laughs> I'm going into the right direction, that is. There he is. Talk to me, baby! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Huh, false swipe is actually effective. Oh, I should have saved. Zillard, did you just call yourself a weasel? Wait, did you just call me a baboon? <laughs> Didn't even notice that. <laughs> Great Tusk! No, we don't wish to name Great Tusk. Great Tusk is a fine name. Dauphin, you bottle. <clears throat> Jotaro, the baboon. <laughs> the baboon. But I don't show my butt off the entire time. Can I be a baboon if I don't show my butt off? No, I think you guys need to figure out a better uh, one. I can't be a baboon. They see me rolling, they hating. They trying to control me, catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Boosh! 
I believe I can fly. Oh, Barry Webber. Jesus. Been up way too early today again. Okay, next. Don't know which one this is. Rattle, rattle, rumble, rumble, rumble. Trabang! This one looks dope. It's a deer with a pulse for horns. And it's made out of stone. Vessel of Ruin. Okay, let's just fall swipe it. We'll see how much damage we do. Stink and Pentrum. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Sword stance. Again, I forgot to just throw the quick ball. Throw it to the chomp. It's a dark type move. Mr. Umbastic. Call me fantastic. Wissa bissa bitta bitta bata bo. Umbastic. Call me fantastic. Ping loo. Ichi. Ichi. Sunchi. Bitch. I can't believe it didn't go into the broken ball! I think Gambit's gonna die thanks to Ting Lu. Wow, the horrors! The horrors! You know what, Tang Lu? Or Ting Lu? How about you try again? Illumination? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that looks dope! Even though it's cheating, I just heal up. Thanks. First try. <laughs> First try! <laughs> Guys, have I said yet that I love my new desk? It was a tingaloo! Yeah, that's what I said. One more left to go. We know exactly where that one is. We happened to find it by accident, even though I probably can't fly to it. Ah, oh, I can. Nice. Boomba stick, call me fantastic. Okay, so this is the last one, and this one is supposed to be a fire type or something. I wouldn't know, but wondering if it looks dope. Touch is a shrine. Touch me, baby, one more time. Your bang. Holy shit, it's a tiny fish. It's a tiny firefish. Ting Lu, more like Ting Ling. <laughs> Look at the tiny fish! Yeah. But who cares about the eyes, right? Beats a ruin. Special defense. Chi Yu! Not Chi Yu. Okay, let's throw a quick ball first this time, right? Ow. 
I wonder why they decided to go for Chinese names this time around. Even though this area that we're, or the main language we're living in is clearly more Mexican-based. I think, at least. I don't know Mexican or Spanish. But I have a feeling it was. Wow, Gordy. Can you uh, go take a good sitting position pretty fucking please? No. Gordy is tired. Did I save for this one? Love up. Close to China was a Spanish colony. So they have a lot of Spanish words still. Ziller, why you gotta be so smart? <laughs> now that's actually interesting. Because we are on a fucking island. So it wouldn't be that surprising, I guess. I mean, I could Google. This motherfucker doesn't want to get in the ball, does he? Oh, now I'm dead. Oh, I'm still okay. I do like the designs of these Pokémon, though. They're really good. Butthole! I don't know what the damage is based off on Reunation. I also don't like the fact that I'm burned. Burn, baby, burn, Disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. I don't like that either. All I can do is use Sword to dance while waiting. Little King Gambit manages to dodge. Why is this one the hardest to catch? Because you're the last one? Because you're final on the list? Okay, let's try a timer ball. Would it be legendary? This fucker is pissing me off. Makes me just want to murder it. Wow, he really doesn't want to get in the ball.
Lizzie, that's not you. I want to say that's not true, but to be honest, I don't really know. One, two, three. I had Pokemon that happily wanted to join my Pokemon army. Yay, Degenerative Chad! Yay! <laughs> we like to party. We like to party. We like to party. What the fuck, phone mall? I will only use two Pokemon. Because you only have two balls that learn. So two balls, <laughs> one on each side. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, I didn't even see him on the ground there. Jesus Christ, why am I having such bad luck with this Pokemon? Need also an Onyx in between Zillin. <laughs> no Steelix. I am the Onyx. <laughs> but I'll be in the balls. <laughs> God damn it. We finally got she you! Yay! Good fucking Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, next stop, we're going back into the Crater of Pain! I said Crater of Pain! Okay, let me have a look at my box real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need one more Great Tusk. Did I end up catching... Oh, I need to clean that one up still. No, I did not end up catching the mains, so that's still need two. Whoa, whoa, where'd you go? Whoa, whoa. Onyx and then two ball-shaped Pokemon. Do you want electrodes or... Um, <laughs> the other one? Are you just a regular one? You're just a regular one. But Gengar doesn't look like a Pokeball sap. Uh, you know what? Might as well grab your ass while we're at it. Yeah, Ghastly would do. Yes, I called Lizzie Sep because Sep is the one that usually throws Gengar out there. Slap Shorty, that's the third slap today. Jesus Christ, you guys must have really missed me if you want to keep on slapping me. Oh no, not the Master Ball! Okay, never mind, we used our Master Ball. ISQ, happy birthday! I blame Lizzie for this. Rip Master Balls. Yeah, rip master balls indeed. That's eh, fine. 
I'll cheat one in eventually. I mean, what? Orphanite. We need to go into the cave. And we need to go find uh, flutter guns. So I need to find you. Yo, GG, Sama. I don't think I like these guys, like, countering all my attacks. Or not getting caught into my Pokeballs ASAP. Gonna hurt. Dusky, what did you get for your birthday? Damn, I can't believe I wasted my Master Ball and I hadn't even cloned them yet. You all know it's not like I mentioned it a hundred times. You only needed to mention it what yesterday one said was today, and I remembered. All the other times that you said it, I forgot about it. That doesn't do recoil damage. Jesus Christ, why are these prissy little bitches so prissy? Not even one shake. Alright, well, that was one shake, but you get the point. Bag. A bouquet, a perfume, a cat puzzle, cookies and chocolate. So uh, the bouquet, the perfume and the cat puzzle don't really matter. Except for the only thing that matters are the cookies and chocolate, right, SQ? I'm sure as hell glad that I... Heh <laughs> heh, critical capture. Sure as hell glad I brought a Pokemon that can uh, use False Swipe. Boy, who would have thought that I'd ever need that? Kind of sucks now I have to hardball the cover legendary. I uh, did not plan for that, to say the least. I'm not seeing any flutter mains or whatever they're called. You know what my mom would say against that, uh, Lizzie? Well, they last longer if you take good care of them. Something like that. Okay, we got two of those. I see only Jigglypuffs though, or Ancient Jigglypuffs, and I don't need those, so that probably means that I need to set the time to night. Turn it to night.
Ugh, motherfuckers. Let me heal up. Okay. Go stand outside. Oops. Save. Exit the game. Uh, is it actually n not even? Um, if I had to guess from videos I've seen so far, it's probably 10. And then third D should be nighttime. So many Pokemon games. Yep. And I played them all. I also have more Pokemon games in my closet and a few Pokemon games. It's me parents. You know what? Oh, you here. Might as well um, try and capture you as well. Nice, insta-capture. Brute Bonete. Okay, let's see if we can find any uh, flutters. Flutter putters. Doesn't really look like it. Making me sad. Got a second of you and a second of you. Let's see, where is this motherfucker again? Ghost, Terra, Shard. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die! Do, 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 do. This is not where Yordi wants to be. A lot of gibble though. Gibble, gibble. Damn bite. Why are these Doug Trio in the fucking crystal? Here. Oh. 
Did I miss the platform? No. There he is. Let's just first throw a quick ball in the hope that it goes in. Or a Calicum Posh. One, two, but all. Oh, it actually uses bulk up. That is not great. It's not really great either. Fucking hell, Koraidon. Who said you could bulk up? He just keeps raising its attack and defense. Ugh. Asian force. Well, that's dead as fucking gambit. I wish I hadn't used my fucking faster ball right now. Go into the Ultra Ball with a Critical Catcher right now. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted to see. Holy moly, Jesus fucking Christ. This guy is gonna absolutely obliterate me. Well, thanks, Lizzie. Thanks, Lizzie. Gojuji sama. True, I'm not a master. I'm a Gojuji sama. Uh, sure, Yordi. Way to make it cringe. Woo woo, woo woo. Thought maybe acting it out would work. Whoop. 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 No, I can see that. Yeah, how about we reset? Because, uh. Don't like getting my ass kicked like this. But Lizzie, what what in but? They see me rolling. They hating. They trying to control me, catch me riding dirty. You must be imagining things, Lissy. That's just my regular voice. I just heighten my voice when I'm streaming. So close. We've come so far. Jesus Christ! What the hell? 
Okay, you know what? We're gonna test some things here because uh, it doesn't really matter what I do. I need to fucking lower its HP. Damn! Why did I have to accidentally use my uh, freaking dink donk stink stonk? Okay, not very effective, it's good enough. Dink donk stink stonk. Actually, seeing as he raises defense up pretty high, I should have been able to, like, hit more. U turn, protein! Not very effective. So is your mom! Ha 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 ha! just bulk up twice. Do I crunch? Yeah, let's crunch. Wow, that was not effective whatsoever. We good, bro. We good. Full switch. As long as we don't crit, we should be fine. With that being said, I will get one shot by everything that he throws at me, or at least every physical move. Okay. Now we can attempt to cr catch it again. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together for now and then forever. Just lowers it, lowered his attack again. Ah, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, we're alive. How the fuck did we live that? Okay, let's try an Ultra Ball. One. Why did I not teach any of my Pokemon status moves? Because you already you are not the smart person. Well, uh, that makes sense. So close yet so far away. Lucy, you did very well, girl. Now it's up to uh, Almighty to face tank. We got him! We are the kings and queens of promise. No, you're going into the box. Because we need to trade you away. Grrrr! Yeah? Oh. I was like, what the fuck happened to the room? Good as you can. XP can be M.
Wait, can I actually see what time it is? That looks like cloudy. Dead end. Dead end of the show. Uh, it's just a quicker way back up to the save point. Or save point, the heal point. In my normal voice. Now, see. Do we continue with the joke that I made, or...? Because <laughs> uh, I don't think I can continue with the my normal voice, you know? <laughs> After all, I ain't no voice actor. Wish I was skilled like that. Okay, let's see. Did I have to turn the game off to make time pass? I don't think I did, right? Only if you don't want to fuck things up. You know what? I'll just turn it off. Is it now dark outside? Can I uh, go find ghosties? If I can't find ghosties, I blame Lizzie. Lizzie scares away all the ghosties with her uh, Mexican powers. <laughs> uh, oh, you're you so funny. Oh, now it looks like it's complete daytime. Yeah, Lizzie, don't scare away the ghosties. Look, I ran into a Pokemon. Oh, wait, I forgot about this motherfucker here. I need, like, uh, two of you, too. Two of you, too. Booster energy was used up. Protosynthesis. Uh, okay. Scary ass motherfucker. Two, three, bitch. Oh yeah, great. How about you do not instantly kill my uh, King Gambit asshole? Okay, now I just need another one of those. Another one. Yeah, another one. I write you. Rai Rai! Write you! Fuck. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, so there should be a chance of their spawning another Pokemon around here. The weird Magnemite looking thing at least. Just gotta run up and back a few times to reset it. Go goats. We don't want go goats. We go goats need to go goodbye. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that, give me some more. Smack that till you get sore. Oh, oh. Sandy Shocks. Ooh, there are two. Two! I need two! Gimme! Gimme, gimme, ya, ya, da, da. Something like that. <sighs> Guys, come on. You are. You shouldn't be surprised by the fact that I'm a weirdo by this point, right? Like, just, uh. Three days of not seeing me, you completely forget what kind of person I am. Wee wee. Oh, you said what the fuck to the Pokemon. Hmm. It's not that much of a what the fuck, it's just a Magnemite from the past. Lizzie always says what the fuck to me. With that being said, I should be saying what the fuck to Lizzie. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm a normal degenerate. <laughs> 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 sure, Lizzie, sure. <laughs> Heavy slam, was that a recalling move? No, good. He's broken again. <laughs> Lizzie, I'm always broken. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I've never been fixed. If you already went like, I like to go to the Salvation Army and smell all the dirty underwear they get in. I wouldn't be so. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> that is not degenerate. That's just nasty. <laughs> you. Zilla! Yaki Bubba! That would have been funny if I was that small minded. That's how he gets his cologne. <laughs> Gets his reference material. All his models. It's 
Seems you guys are having a blast today, making a fool out of me. A. Hey. No, because if I start denying things, you guys will just say things like, uh, uh-huh, sure. So it's more like, well, better just laugh and leave it at that. Rather than uh, trying to defend myself. I went to school, right? We heard that there was a hole in the wall somewhere to spy on the girls. I think it was just a rumor, though. So yeah, the schools I went to uh, were very far apart from each other when it came to uh, locker rooms, so to say. So uh, drilling a hole wouldn't really make much sense. Is there something wrong with being uh, fucked up in the head? Can this uh, fucking uh, scrub fly stop doing whatever the fuck it's doing right now? That would be very nice. Thanks. There was something that I wanted to say. Slow with technology, then all of a sudden we'll be fast with technology. Yay, we got our second one! Whoop you fucking do Okay, that just leaves two of the super rare one and two of the ghost type that I cannot find. Ow. Right on, broke his legs. Yordi, you're almost there. You just need to find a few more Pokemon and then do a buttload of tra trading. Not training, but trading. Trading. T R A D E. No masquerade spawns here. Technology. Okay, we're looking for. Um... Hey, hey! We're technically not really looking for you yet, but uh, the fact that you wish to spawn—that is very nice. I can't actually deal damage to it with normal attacks. That is kind of cringe. 
but hold. Hold Jim. So how am I gonna weaken this uh, little turd without killing it? Oh, wait, don't I have an item that I can turn on, uh, put on that would allow me to deal damage to Pokemon usually unaffected? Maybe. Who knows? You guys think I have that? This ball. Mystic fired. Fire in the hole. Squeaking for uh, couldn't get away. How slow is this piece of shit Pokemon? I'm sorry, King Gambit, I did not call you piece of shit Pokemon. Lizzie was the one that called you a piece of shit Pokemon. Wasn't me. <laughs> uh, how dare you threat your viewers this way? again I'm sorry I think my best bet is to just go in battle throw quick ball go out of battle and throw quick ball again in the hope that it goes because otherwise it's just gonna Uh, you're right, Lizzie. I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. Can't even sound sincere enough anymore. Yes! That's one. One more to go! Don't worry, Zillar, I'm just making bad jokes. Okay, well, it's almost quitting time. Quitting time? Bye, guys. It's way too early for quitting time, Lizzie. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Ugh, baby showers. You didn't get called piece of shit, Zillar. It was King Gambit that was called a piece of shit. And then I said, nah, I didn't call you a piece of shit. It was Lizzie that called King Gambit a piece of shit. <laughs> That's how it went. I mean, that is the entire point of, um... This stream. Just walk away for five minutes and, uh, shit goes down. Even if the sky is falling down. Down, down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. Okay, so I'm waiting for this big boy Pokemon to spawn. It's the rarest of them all. 
it doesn't spawn very easily. I need two. Or, you know, just one and trade that one away. But I need two. Sway. Oh, crap, dog. Ein, zwei, drei. Anyways, bye Lizzie, have fun at the baby shower. She already gone. I would like to have these poppers be shiny. Oh, that's one. Roaring moon. How do you know if you find a shiny in this game? Uh, by knowing the difference from the regular color and the shiny colors. That's literally it. You just... Uh, need to pay close attention no it doesn't sparkle like an Arceus sadly there's also no sound which is also kind of cringe nice okay that's one Yeah, they sparkled, and they uh, made a sound. But you got a lot more uh, ways to like increase your chances in this game, rather than just uh, one thing, or two things, I could, should say, actually. There's currently an easy uh, uh, shiny hunt technique for the Flutter main. The Pokemon, uh, the ghost that looks like Misdreavus. Sadly, you do have to have a shit ton of shites that we don't have. Seems like Umbreon spawns here rarely as well. Keep an eye out for all the Pokemon. Listen, game. If an Umbreon spawns, give me a shiny Umbreon. Why a shiny Umbreon? Because shiny Umbreon is probably one of the coolest Pokemon. Other than shiny Rayquaza. This uh, weak ass dragon. Dragon, dragon. Fuck the dragon, dragon balls. Yeah, dragon, dragon. Come get me. Nope. I've been too distracted. Ah, there it is, number two. Okay, we got every Pokemon Yordi needs. Now Yordi just needs to get the hell out of here, go to the toilet, and start tra 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 trading. Can I fly out of here? Yes, we can!
come come get me. Okay, time to go to the boxes. Oh Jesus, uh, that was a mistake. Uh. Sorry, I'm not good at English and numbers, apparently. Okay, uh, now I need you. You. And you. And then draw selection box. Okay, let's see. Um, first, let me open the trade logs that I need. Oh, it's so great when you can find everything on your PC that you need, right? Okay, this is the one. Okay, BRB, toilet. Okay, let's see. We got Stone Journer for Ice Q, Ordanguru for Passamane, Fire Torals for Water Torals, Skunky for Gulpin, Drifloom, Drifloom for Misdreavus, Skrelpy for Clancher. Larvitar for Bagon. I technically don't need that one anymore because I already have a Bagon. But we'll just grab it anyways. Depends on how long it takes. Dino for Derpy. Dreepy. Uh, Great Tusk for Iron Threads. Scream Tail for Iron Bundle. Brute Bonnet for Iron Hands. Fluttermane for Iron Juggalus. Slitherwing for Iron Moth. Sandy Shocks for Iron Thorns. 
Roaring Moon for Iron Valiant and Coridon for Miridon. Okay. Uh, let me put it in order, actually, so that I don't mess up everything. Second one was Fire Torals. Fourth was Skunky. Then Drifloom. Then Skrelp. Uh, then Larvitar, then Dino. Then Great Tusk. Then Screamtail. Why the fuck do I have a Bonsly in here? Good question. Um, Screamtail, Brute Bonnet. Flutter, Main. Slither, Wing. Sandy, Shocks, and Roaring Moon. <sighs> okay, that's the list. Time to open the Poke Portal. I've been getting a lot of. Um, bad trades lately, so it was taking quite a lot of time. Super annoying. Uh, oh, sir, oh, 19. And then, oh, 32. Just takes a little bit of time. But if I follow these codes, we should get uh, at least someone that wants to trade the same thing. Trade partner found. For the same thing at least. So Violet for yeah, Ice Q, that's what we like to see. Okay, trade one complete. I need to press X to continue. Sorry, buddy. Took too long. Waiting for opponent's decision. Communicating, please await! Just a few Pokemon that actually need to evolve, though. Save me time from having to find new training trading partners.
Schmeppelin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you catch them all? We're close. I caught all the Pokemon that I can get. I just need to trade a few now. And then do some evolving. Gloop tea. Ew, it has a weird name, Sep. Do you have anything for the Drifloom? Dreepy, I do have you, Dino. Right? Dino is from Dreepy. Simone. Hehe. <laughs> Simone. Yeah. I miss streaming all the time. Do you know how boring my life is when I don't stream? Jesus, what's with these names? I clearly am going to need to breed all of these Pokemon. I can't deal with these non-English names in my, uh... Launcher, heck fucking yeah, bro. Thanks, Zillar. Glad to hear it. Okay, let's see if he has anything for the drift loom. Mystery vis, that would be fucking nice. Heck yeah, bro, that's what we like to see. Almost getting all my trades in one go. That is fucking fantastic. <laughs> Must be uh, French or something. French. Ah, okay, if he has uh, a bacon, yeah, nice. Bagon! Bagon! 
see if he maybe has a fire tarles as well. If he does, or water tarles. If he does have a water tarles, I'd be so fucking happy. Bagul. 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 Drabby. Okay, let's see if he has the tarles as well. That would be super nice. Okay, no, he doesn't have the Tarls. Let me go look at these names, because maybe I can just change the names back. No, these are French as fuck. Uh, I'm going to need to breed all of these guys. I want at least English names. Okay, let's go uh, trade for the water towels. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. We don't want to do terror raids yet. Oof. Union Circle! Oh, no, it's also the wrong one. Your ID, do you not know what you're doing? As a matter of fact, I don't. <laughs> uh, 224, or A trade partner has been found. Wait, what do you mean he quit? He couldn't even. T Bloody fucking hell! Oh, oops. What do you take me for, huh? Huh? A trading partner has been found. Okay, come on, let me uh, give you my uh, tarles for another tarles. Please be a water tarles. Nope, that's fire. Oh, did you know it was uh, the fire one? Well, because it's uh, red in the mains. Am I sounding dumb yet? <laughs> Are my sounds making sense yet? Or, uh... I should probably keep an eye out on the trainers that I run into. Tarles, Tarles. These the fire Tarles. With Cody. Or is that a B? I don't know. A... B... <laughs> Listen here, Conario. Tonight uh, we will get the mighty shiny charm. <laughs> because it's nice to hear the obvious. Lusa Luciano. Luciano? Okay, let me see. No, it's another fucking fire one. Timmy! I like big butts. See, this is the issue that I had last time as well. I needed to trade for my last starter, right? That I didn't own yet. Uh, and uh, I kept running into fucking Foycocos and fucking uh, Sprigatitos. I just needed a Quaxley, yo. Just needed a Quaxley. But slumber. Bro, what if you had the Pokemon I need, bro? 
And I'm feeling that the same is going to happen with the Great Tusk Iron Treads shit and the Core Idol Miraidon trait. Even if uh, I hope not, eh? Yeah, but hole! Ye but holy! Well, actually, that is perfect Pokemon name. Zilla agrees. He likes the blue duck. I am personally not a fan. The partner has been found. What is this accent that I'm trying to mimic here, yo? Beep up. Beep up. I'm gonna give you a beep up on your hit. Frenchish. Ah, I see. I'm offending a buttload of French people right now. Yaddy yaddy does a. Well, if I'm not offending the French, I'm offending the Japanese probably with my very terrible weeaboo speech. Oh, it's the beepop again. Beepo. Beepo. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. La da da ti 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 Okay, no Beepo. We don't want Beepo tonight. I don't know if we ever want Beepo, but... Tolt. Hey, 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 Tolt, my man! You got, you got what I need, bro! You got what I need! Show, show me the water, show me the water turtles, Tolt. Show it to me. Show me the water turtles. Trading. I mean, I already got all the other starters. Oh, we got the water turtles! Like, I got two images with uh, trade codes that you should probably use if you only have one version of the game. While Pokebank and Starch is still not... Uh... Working. And you have only one copy of the game. But I don't have the game, so... Yeah, and you want to keep giving it the fuck away as well. <laughs> like... Oh, he already quit. Oh, sad face. Okay, next code. Uh, link trade. Set code. No, yeah, duh. I know that. I'm not that dumb. Oh, oops. Oh, three, eight, two. Okay, time to do Dolphin. And you could post it on socials to create more of the buzz. Yeah, but who cares about buzz if people just come in here for a second just for a giveaway that I'm probably going to do at the end of a stream. Um, will? Uh, 
Oh, wait, he needs all of those. Wait, iron shreds? Give it to me, baby. Getting viewers by saying I have a giveaway sounds like absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Da fuck is that Pokemon? That is uh, the futuristic Dauphin. The Iron Threads. Let's see, does he instantly leave or uh, can I uh, try and uh, get another one off my list here? With Screamtail. Iron Juggalus. Uh, is that. For Iron Bundle. Wait, Iron Juggalus. Iron Juggalus for Flutter main. Slither Wing. Iron Moth. The original Dolph Dauphin, you mean? Yeah, that one has been around since um, a long time. Since Gold and Silver. Actually, Dolphin got introduced in Red Gold, uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow during the movie uh, of Mewtwo. Which they always do with the movies introduce a new Pokemon with a movie. Yeah, he wasn't in those games. It is indeed originally a Gen 2 Pokemon. Uh, it's still one scene, yo. Oh, wait, I got that. Here, trade it for Roaring Moon. Iron Vigilant. In one battle scene, though, Zillar, a battle scene. The intro of the movie. So... What, what in the butt? Anything else? Iron Thorns for... Yeah. The future Tyranitar. Just a few more. I need to do some breeding afterwards and then some evolving, but just a few more. Ho 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 ho! Wee wee! Uh, I think from this point, we just need to tra trade three more Pokemon. Number 400 is Miraidon. That is the other cover legendary of Pokemon Violet. 
Rocke électrique. Okay, he doesn't have any more, and that's kind of a shame. But domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Um. Yeah, because I can't catch it in my own game, and I can't send it over if I don't have a second switch. Which, in case you didn't realize yet, I do not have a second switch. Hmm, <laughs> Terry. I'm gonna cry. Just buy a light. Fuck no. This iron bundle. To Charlie! Charlie! Goraidom and Miraidom. Yeah, I know. Well, not necessarily. I can run into a person that wants, uh, to send his Koride on the way as well. Uh, no, I don't have anything for the Iron Jugglers. I already got that. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I need to do. Uh, eight. Seppi cracked the code. Yeah, Seppi used his brain. <laughs> Uh, Iron Hands. Iron Hands is supposed to be the best uh, raid grinder at this very moment. Brutabuni. Iron Hands. Heck yeah, bro. No. Yes. I can't believe I got this fucking dumb piece of shit with a master ball. His real hands is the best. Is alert the fuck? Yeah, I know. Master Ball wasted. Yada, yada, yada. It just happened. What am I supposed to do about that? A pirate? What kind of pirate? A One Piece pirate? Because otherwise I'm not interested. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Let me just check. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Trade it! He is at least in black sails. Double trouble. Guys, I got a nice drawing glove for my tablet so it doesn't get dirty. Fighting dragon fighting. Yeah, that means it's terror type is fighting. Okay, we're done trading. 
All the trading is done. We got the power. We got, we got the power. We got the power. Okay, uh, we're going to our boxes real quick. Um, here. You guys can stay and stand pretty around here. King Gambit. Should have actually. Ah, uh, fucking care. Too late. We'll come later. Um. Best, best, best. But it's not. Uh, we want to use the different language one for higher shiny chance. Okay. Uh, ditto. Let me actually put you guys in the right spaces. Too far. I do want to use this one though. Uh, I'll get that one later. I'll just clone it later. I at least want uh, the Pokemon that are going into my... What's it called? It's my Pokemon bank to be 100% legit. You're gonna fuck up that Eevee as well? No, this Eevee all have different Terra types. So we got the Fire, Ice, Ghost, Ground, Fighting, Normal, Psychic, Dragon, Fairy, Grass, Poison, Steel, Rock. Electric, water, flying, bug, and dark type terror types. That's purely the only reason that I caught all of these. There's currently an event going on. Ooh, this one actually has almost five full IVs. Sick tits. Anyway, um, you are just called Tarls, so you're going to go to the Tarls, the other Tarls. 223. Uh, oh, hey, you already did calculate that very well. No, I'm not evolving them. Unless I want a specific uh, evolution with uh, a specific type. But for now, I don't want to evolve them. Uh, let's start with the harder ones, right? Let's start with Darby. I only need two X for Darby. Um, then we go make sandwich. Make a sandwichta. I mean sandwich. Banana. Each me. This is the entire sandwich, guys. Just a little bit spread and a banana on it. Yeah, I already I'll have all evolutions. I caught all of them. For the Pokedex.
Hurry up already, eat it. Show me the terrible, terrible animation. Like, the sword and shield animation was way better for eating food. So now I got a half an hour egg power, and that half hour egg power increases the speed of getting eggs. It also increases the speed of hatching eggs. Now Yordi's gonna take a drink and take his meds. I mean, they built a completely open world, though, Sep, with Pokemon and whatever. And they had, like, a year to do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Egg yet? Need one more. Wait, you got a digital sword copy, but you also have steel case? Now that is interesting. Okay, uh, pack up. Swap. Uh, Dre Darby for the Dreepy. For that one I need like two, three eggs. Lol. Zillar, does that mean I need to take three glasses? I think I finally hit through the exhaustion today, or tonight. There's a high chance you won't be sleeping tonight. Three eggs in a row. Damn, bro. <sighs> Get this cocksucker back. Need two eggs from Flingstaus. Flingstus. Yeah, that one must have been fucking horny. I mean, what? Horny, horny! Kimari, horny! I mean, uh, uh, hornless! <laughs> um.
Uh, I'm thinking to myself what we're gonna do tomorrow. I mean, it, once I have my shiny charm, we pretty much did everything except for getting all the shiny Pokemon, obviously, and we can do that. We can also do a buttload of uh, six-star raids. Gimme uh, another one. Hordy, hordy! Oh, more! Oh, more! <laughs> this is the one scene I saw from uh, Game of Thrones. <coughs> Where uh, Hodor needed to hold the door. That's the one scene I've watched. And I found that incredibly hilarious. Miss Derivus. Rydon is a fucking cutie for a fucking uh, legendary ass Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are a cutie. Looks like a fucking dog, yo. A Lizardo dog. Here, you guys, I'll throw a ball. Have fun. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yeah, you are. You're a good boy. <laughs> oh, look at the ditto tossing the ball. Ow, no, you don't have to fucking blast my ass with the ball. <laughs> okay, did we get uh, two Pokeballs yet? Uh, yeah, two eggs. Oh, crap, that's three eggs. That's... Four Miss Dreva's eggs. I don't need fucking four. I only needed two. Oh, that's the wrong button. Rock your body on chick boom two and chicks around me gonna do by doom. Oh, what you gonna do like oh 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 oh. oh. Okay, Gulpin needs two, and then Pessimane one, and Ice Cube one. You can blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know. <clears throat> I'm losing it. I'm losing all control. I'm cruising it, choosing it all the way, no hoes. You put your lips together and you come real close. Oh, let me blow my whistle, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're already, you're just uh, messing everything up. I oh, what's the problem with that? You already likes messing things up all the time. Otherwise, there's no fun to have. Damn it, that was fucking fast for th four eggs? Again? Damn. It only takes insanely long with fucking Pseudo Legendary and, uh. Starters. These uh, motherfuckers uh, breed like uh, rabbits. That's how the saying goes, right? Hey Jigglypuff, turn around real quick so that I can see your eyes. Although or blue. 
I am blue, da boo dee da boo die, you da boo dee da boo die, da boo dee da boo die. Okay, that's quick. One egg. Yeah, Yordi, we were just talking about the fact that these uh, guys fuck like rabbits and breed like rabbits. They just don't... Or they just lay eggs like birds. They lay eggs like birds instead of uh, whatever rabbits do. I didn't pay attention in biology in case you were curious. I just didn't pay attention in biology, in case you were curious. <laughs> Doesn't take much for uh, Yordi uh, to lose brain power. You just put your lips together and you come real close. Doesn't take much to... <laughs> uh, oh, this is two ice Q eggs. Great. Don't know what I need to do with two ice Q eggs, but fuck it. <clears throat> okay, put the Bekelokom, whatever it's in, uh, language that is, uh, somewhere. Grab uh, Talonflame. Move the ditto. Oh, the ditto. The ditto. The, the ditto back here next to the... Event Pikachu that I'm actually gonna put here with uh, all the other event Eevees. And uh, we're just gonna grab one, two, three, four, five eggs. And we're gonna run. Running around at the speed of sound Got places to go, gotta follow the rainbow Da na 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 Now Ba now wow wow Ba now wow Uh, now I got another song in my head, I don't remember from what it was don't know what it goes like, but who cares? It's the Pessy main! The teamwork Pokémon. Together with his mom and dad, he likes to fuck your mom. I, I mean, what? Uh, a little bit further back. Uh, was literally here. Okay. Oh, let me actually grab another egg in the meantime. Eggs, 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 eggs. Yordi is an egg. He has an egg for a head. He has an egg for a head.
Ah, uh, here is the Ice Cube Pokemon. Oh no, it's Penguin Pokemon. Ice Cube, the Penguin Pokemon. On hot days, these Pokemon press their Ice Cube heads together and pass the time cooling each other down. <clears throat> Damn, I could use a uh, cooling down uh, Ice Cube like that. Gets way too hot for me sometimes. I don't need a lot anymore, guys. I just need to get through the rest of the stream. <laughs> oh, so if I'm in a cave. Ah, Miss Drevis. Okay, let's see what it has to say. Miss Drevis, the Screech Pokemon. This Pokemon startles people in the middle of the night. It gathers fear as its energy. Well, that's not creepy at all. Well, we might as well evolve this uh, butthole right away. Uh, Duskustone. Miss Magius. Oh, yeah, Miss Magius. Miss Magius, the magical Pokemon. It cry sounds like an incantation. <laughs> it is said the cry may rarely be imbued with happiness giving power. How do they switch from a Pokemon that scares people in the middle of the night for energy? To, uh, okay, you know what? I shouldn't, I never, you already never question the Pokedex. Like, just let it go. <laughs> let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and sky. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is Miss Magius on the list? I think here. Yeah, 15, so in front of Makuita. Makuita! Okay. Oh, I was about to say, where the fuck is there a Jigglypuff there? <laughs> And then uh, I'd need to tell myself because you're getting crazy, Yordi. You're going crazy. Can't you tell? You're going mad, son. Mad. All right, I, 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 I'm born mad, okay? I was born like this. Ah, here's the other mischievous of the four that we, uh, eggs that we got. Oh no, we don't want to give it a nickname. Nicknames are bad. At least in this uh, setting it is. I'm surprised that the first egg still hasn't hatched. Uh, here, right? Yeah. Good job! I said good job! Accept it or death. Aye aye, Captain. Oi, oi, Cap'n, McCap'n. What you saying, Cap'n? I was about to say, they're running to the Psyduck. I thought I was uh, at least a meter away. Okay, what is this? What's this? What's this? Da 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 do. What's this? What's this? Does Clone Chair evolve in a specific way? I don't remember. Uh, Sarah B. Clouncher. Oh no, just level 37. For that, you already... Oh, that's the wrong... Well... 
Uh, for that, Jordi got like uh, L and XL candies. Five? Almost. We're not gonna teach you anything. Jordi's not smart enough to... Okay, that's a lie, but Jordi's not in the mood to actually select all the moves, especially since I can easily teach you all the moves. What's this? What's this? God fucking damn it. Hey, that's another Pokemon crossed off the Pokedex. Now you're going into a box. Just like all your other friends. Now if only I remembered what number Clone Chair was. 40. Ha! I was in the perfect box! Yordi, you're so good! Okay, Bagon you the first Bagon needs to evolve at least twice. The second Bagon only needs to evolve once. Explain to poor Seppi. What is it that poor Seppi needs to have explained? Why are we breeding these Pokemon? Well, firstly, because these motherfuckers were uh, named in French, and Jordi does not want to have his living Dex Pokemon to be uh, French. He uh, likes his living Dex Pokemon to be English. And uh, so secondly, PP uh... <laughs> up that bad boy with Viagra. And secondly, we still needed uh, a few extra evolutions for the living decks. So uh, that is the reason. I mean, I could technically just have like leveled up the ones that I got and then uh, cry in solitude, but you know. You know how it goes. He already uh, is very specific. Uh, Salamander! Salamence, the dragon Pokemon. It flies around on its wings, which have grown in at crap baskets. I wanted to do the funny again game. Uh, 278, somewhere around here, I guess. Oh no, this is uh, the other one. Here is Bagum. So, uh, Sep, are you happy now? Do you have all your answers? If not, let's <laughs> That's so nice of you to say, Yordi. Screw you, to Seppi. <sighs> Yo, weirdo. Bakere yo, kumere yo. I'm used to that. Good. That's how our bromance works. Yep. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh... 
Ah, uh, here is Misdreavous number 500. We'll uh, set this one away for a random mass trade or something. Da 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 da. Yo ho, yo ho, je krijgt hem niet cadeau. La da 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 How much longer is my egg power gonna work? Five minutes. Wee oui, wee, oui. yeah yeah. Entra que si te. Cero item, que si, que no. You already been born in the wrong age, guys. It's a fact. Oh, I don't want to use that money. Money. Many. Uh, four. 45 is still a little bit too high. For second evolution. Oh, well. Okay, the Zbagum. This evolution line complete for the living decks. Eh, where is the motherfucker again? I think it was this one, right? Yeah. You're the big brain. That's when you say, Yordi, it's not that big brain, it's just using your memory cor collect correctly. And I have to be like, but, 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 and then you're gonna be like, yeah, my butt, and uh, Okay. The T just stopped me out of the air so that my egg could hatch on the fucking uh, roof. The roof! The roof! The roof is on fire! We don't need that motherfucker, let him burn! Okay, this is Dreepy. Dreepy needs to be in this box after Noivern. We got only nine more eggs to hatch, guys. We're almost there. Oh, Adi, Adi, Adi. Technically, yes, but. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. It'll just take a little bit more time. Just a little bit. Eh? Kiryu chan! Th uh, even three is still a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dreepy, dreepy, dreepy. Dreepy did not evolve at level dreepy. What level does Dreepy evolve? Holy shit! Fifty? Fifty, brother! No, 
just levels, but I did not expect level fucking 15 and 16. Draculuk. Wants to learn dragon pulse, or you can pulse my butt, bitch. <laughs> cringe, Jordi. Super cringe. Okay, just one more egg of him, and the last evolution. Candle. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. And trying to feel good. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to feel good. The bag. The bagon. Okay, so six was fifty two, seven, eight, let's try eight. Okay, it's at least fifty. So two more, I guess, and then we're at sixty. Registered. Screw you and your dragon darts. Seven more eggs. Yep. In fact, the Dreepy Lake being used as missiles. See me rolling, they hating. They trying to control me, catch me right and dirty. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Mon ami. That's what every <laughs> criminal says <laughs> with abuse charges. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that didn't go get dark quickly. <laughs> Sap, it's a children's game, yo. You can't say that. <laughs> like being used. As rockets, they saw me rolling. They hating. They trying and catch me. <laughs> trying to catch me riding dirty. Try to catch me riding dirty. Try to catch me riding dirty. Okay, what is the number? Uh, 139. So around here, I guess. Basculin. Oh, 
What do you mean GTA is not fucked up? <laughs> uh, sure, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> GTA is not fucked up, neither is RDR. <laughs> Pokemon is way the fucked up. Hey, you wanna know why Pokemon is so fucked up, Siller and Sep, and GTA isn't? It's because, uh... <laughs> it's because Pokemon is made by a Japanese company. Wait, didn't I already had this one? Yeah, I need to evolve this one. Showing off his new Michael Jackson glove. This is not a Michael Jackson glove, Sep. This is my drawing glove. Okay? Get it right, bruh. I'm not being racist to Japanese companies. I'm just saying they uh, are like are better at making messed up shit. Technically, all the crime is in hidden pla in plain sight. You just need to know where to look. Look, like Swallowed, for example, a poison bag Pokemon. It gulps anything that fits in its mouth. Its special en en enzymes can dissolve anything. <laughs> we know, bro. We know. Nah, fam, we did nothing wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. You see, it's all like this. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I need to replace this Azumarill because I got. Uh, I'm using it. Okay, let's see what's in the last two uh, bagaroos. Or last two, last four. Ah, really? Another gulpin. Gulpin, stomach Pokemon, there is nothing its stomach can't digest. While it is digesting, vile, overpowering gases are expelled. That's just called eating and farting. I mean, maybe. Baby, 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 oh yeah. I mean, we can't digest everything. At least I think we can't. This Pokemon launches water by detonating gas inside its right claw. It snipes flying Pokemon. Shh! Don't ruin the fun, Zillar. Don't ruin it. Just 
It's just an animal. Animals are what nature made them. Unless humans intervene. Okay, let me hatch these last two eggs. Because I think we have everything now. Ooh. Seagull. Another gulpin. Oh, fuck, Golduck. It's a good thing telling Fade Lame is fucking fast. Welcome back, SQ. Yeah, it just ran into me. What a butthole. I'ma fuck your day up, bro. Let's try and catch this Azumarill. Pray for the fucking love of God that it just gets into the ball. Nice, and that I can fill up that one slot of my living decks again. through all the moves again! I was about to say, they better not be evolving, bitch. One more time. Oh yeah, this is the Azumarill. Haha. Uh -huh. Uh, last egg. WWE Paul Brothers, Nunny. This box is from now on known as the trash box, where all the trash goes. Is there anything that is... no, nothing. So I'm gonna release all these tiny, puny things. Yeah, when Ziller says, just give him a brain fracture. You don't want to see that bullshit again.
That's money, baby. I still have three shinies that I've not done anything with. Okay, um... Wait, what? 389 conts, 390 battles, that can be right. I've legit went through the entire list. How the heck did I battle 390, but I'm... Muck. Okay. That should bring me to 390 at least. How am I still missing 10 Pokemon, though? Wait, the fuck? Is Wireless? Holy shit, chat went fast all of a sudden. Would be more dangerous for everyone else in Doyu Doyu if the Paul brothers entered there. Uh, blah blah blah. What was the name of the site we absolutely legal watch anime? No, not Crunchyroll. I send it uh, through Messenger. Give me a sec, SQ, I'll grab the Milky Milk. Shit, though, how did I miss such a fat two fucking Pokemon? Not just two, I missed like an entire ten in here. Let me first go grab that muck and the dino. No probs, no probs. I doubled the muck. Uh, the Grimer, I just need to evolve one. I know. Huh.
It's not often that I literally think to myself... Where the fuck did I forget shit? And I'm literally missing a, ten, a total of 10 Pokémon out of my Pokédex. Which is even crazier. I thought it was weird, though, that I didn't actually evolve this one. Seppi, you go uh, enjoy your anime. Okay, um... Anime, quotation marks. <laughs> uh, there, I list- I missed five Pokemon out of here. Uh, this one is okay. Let me actually... One... Two... Two, three... Like me some realism to that regard. <laughs> realism. Yaddy yaddy da. <laughs> okay, sorry. Some tender stuff, not just going rough 24 7. It's also bad for mental health, yeah. You don't want to start comparing your dicks to the dicks of uh, people that play in porn. It does something to your self-image, yo. <laughs> uh, okay, let me actually go check my Pokedex. Uh, so I missed like... Nine, right? I missed nine Pokemon. So we know where five are out of the gap. But where are the other four that I'm missing? We didn't say you were going to watch Henty. No, Ziller was quotation marking that, something like that. Is that the one and only Cephalopodium? Tommy, don't watch the news about the war too much. You could get PTSD, bro. I already have PTSD. When am I going to get super PTSD? You did! <laughs> it means you are going to watch Henty. <laughs> okay, bye, Sep. Sep, good night, dude. Enjoy the anime. I haven't actually had a binge watch of a new anime recently. I should probably pick up a new anime to binge. <sighs> also, in case you were wondering, I am checking if I own every Pokémon. Or where the gap is of the Pokémon that I still need to find, because this is clearly pissing me the fuck off. I'm missing nine Pokemon. Like, how even? Huh? 
Huh? What the fuck? I have everything, but it still says nine. And Bruno Mars concert stream. What does that entail, SQ? The only reason that I can think of that it doesn't uh, work is. Me and my dummy thick brain being lazy. SR stream. Uh, I'll think about it. How interesting, I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. Judging by its shape and size, this vessel was almost certainly not for everyday use. Perhaps it was a work of art, or perhaps yet a ritual artifact housing some sort of deity? I feel that there must be some meaning behind the horns and the design resembling eyes. Could it be that this artifact was fashioned after a deity's very appearance? The mystery grows even deeper, ah, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. Hmm, you look like you have something more to report. What is it? Oh, you cut Chiyam Pao the sword rune? Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. The sword's blade and hilt form the Pokemon's left and right fangs. I wonder if the sword's broke when it became a Pokemon, or perhaps it was always that way. No, wait, I cannot imagine the king wanting to buy a broken sword. Maybe it was some sort of weapon that was meant to be used in its broken state. Hey Hiko, this mystery grows even deeper. Ah, my thirst for knowledge is growing, slowly being quenched. Hmm, more to report, yes. Wo Chi, the tablets of runes, yes. Interesting, I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. I've never seen so many wooden writing tablets strung together. It must be have been an epic tale. Most excavated tablets are tantamount to graffiti. Simple me memos. Still valuable for tools. Still valuable tools for learning about the past, but nothing like this. I can't read it, but given the length, it must be a story, yes, or maybe perhaps words of a curse. If only the words weren't faded. How frustrating. These wooden tablets piqued the curiosity of a king. What might have been written on them? This mystery grows even deeper. Ah, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. Yeah, the last one. Eco, how are you doing today? Chi Yu. Keep my curiosity under control. Be it like these were thought to be sacred and thus were worn during religious rituals. I believe they were most often worn as a single bead on the neck like a pendant. But it seems she you has four of them. Were the beads worn as a pair, like on the ears or wrists and wrists? Or were the rituals perhaps performed by four people? What on earth could have caused beads such as these originally used to ward off disaster to become disaster bringers of disaster themselves? Whew, this mystery grows even deeper. Ah, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. Seeing part of history with my own eyes fills me with joy. I thank you, Yordi. This is simply amazing. You have now reported back to me with all four of the treasures of Ruin. This never th I never thought that you would be able to do this much for me. 
You have my thanks, Jordi. I would have liked to go looking for the treasure's room myself and make them my own. But I suppose it was precisely because I was sent... Uh, because I sent you, someone with a pure heart, that we were able to accomplish this feat. Then may be the treasures of my dreams, but I will allow you to have them for now. Consider this symbol of my gratitude too. Take it, it's yours. Nasty plot. How are you doing, Hiko? Okay, uh, now that one is done. No, we are not interested in classes. Oh, we can talk to a few more people. Let's go talk to Penny. Penny! Oh? Yeah! What, Yordi? Hurry up and hide and keep it quiet, okay? Phew, that was close. What you doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, might as well come clean. Take a look over there. Do you get it now? Not really. Ah, sorry. Your jump scared, scared earlier completely frazzled my brain, still trying to reboot. Alright, here's the stitch. Team Star started coming to school again, but I don't know if they're going to fit in, okay? And it's been playing on my mind, you know? So I'm checking on them from over here. Hmm, guess we're still not exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? Well, duh. <laughs> sure, teachers finally figured out that we're not a bunch of delinquents. But it's not like we can press some magic button to make everyone else accept us. Where do I apply for a new goth girlfriend? Um, you don't. True story. We gotta fix this, my man. Time for a change of trap. Change of tack? Huh? Change of tack? Or are they gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they stop scaring off the other kids? Oh, Momo, Horty. They both really trying the best to fit in there at school. Change of tack. Huh. What exactly are you suggesting? Well, I mean, uh... How about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here? Like, just yell it. Loud as we can. <laughs> Drops the fucking staff, yo! Rigged! What? That's stupid! Go on and embarrass yourself if you want to, but count me out. Uh, yeah, that idea seems a bit off. Hold up, let me explain. You know, Rhyme, right? She does this at her concerts, no joke. The crowd ain't hype, at the start of the show, she'll shout the loudest greeting you ever heard. To the mic, like, sup, y'all, or whatever. Lifts the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, that makes sense, cause those are CONCERTS! This is a school, it's different. Okay, smart guy, so we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever then, are we? No, that totally suck. Would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're nice. Gonna go for it. No! Hey, morning, y'all. How you feeling today? Oh no. Giacomo, what are you doing? This is so embarrassing. Having a good time? Come on, Ortega, you gotta do it too. Hold on a sec, you're just practicing for your DJ sets, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight, quick, say it. We're coming tonight. <laughs> hey, what do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? Are those guys from Team Sky? What the heck are they yelling for? Some kind of skit? <laughs> Pretty funny. Guess they're not as scary as I thought. No way, it's working! Tomorrow's Bruno Mars concert in Bahrain. Uh, that's why we need a Bruno Mars concert. No, we don't. Mama and Orti really are operating on different levels. I'm kind of amazed. Seems all my worrying was for nothing, huh? Now that's settled. I guess I should get going. Hasta la star. Vistar. 
so uh, where did uh, Penny uh, teleport off to? Oh crap, no, we don't want to do classes, fuck that. We already did all of them. Holy shit, I actually did not anticipate me having to go do dialogue for every character again! Ugh! Should've known. Post Malone, Imagine Dragons. Re. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the biology lab. This is, this is seriously punishment for me because I was being lazy. Ugh, so Pokéhex, the newest version of Pokéhex came out and I made sure that uh, was easier for me to like get things ready. But because I was being lazy and I put some of the new Pokémon or some of the Pokémon that I didn't have yet in. <sighs> They uh, registered in the Pokedex, but they didn't register in the Pokedex. So that is probably why I have nine Pokemon missing. Whispers. Oh, hey, Yordi. Checking in on Atticus. So keep your voice down, okay? Yes, we do. Look, I'm in a wheelchair. Does the cute cat eyes? Okay, fine. It's just me, or do you also think that person with the Eevee bag is ugly? I mean, I've seen real-life people that are way uglier. But, uh, whatever floats your boat, Hiko. <laughs> I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. Well, really seems to have taken a shine to the school store. Seemed like he'll notice us anytime soon. So I guess there's no point whispering. You know, if all my team star friends, it's Atticus I'm worried will have the most trouble fitting in. Greetings, my good shopkeep. I would very much like to inquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. I believe you have five sets in stock, yes? The ninja cosplay set, yes? Sorry, dear, but someone bought the last two from us earlier. We're completely sold out. Nani? What? This cannot be! Unable to produce those garments, why, I, I, that will ruin everything. And Pierce, I have no choice but to track down this rifle patron of mine when I find them. I shall fix them with my piercing gaze and beg on bended knees for the ninja garments I so carve. What? Since when was Atticus this good looking? Well, yes, but I mean in a video game sense, like, really don't, don't like the design. Well, it fits, because she's supposed to be bullied and a geek and a hacker nerd, so, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, fine, I'll have my own concert. SQ, she deserves, wow, wow, Hiko, wow. <laughs> SQ, I said I'll think about it. We'll see tomorrow. No, focus. If he starts begging some kid for their ninja outfit, people will think he's a weirdo. We should stop him, right? Mm, yeah, time for an intervention. That's what we shall do. Oh, Don Atticus, here you are. My young compadre. I, I must apologize about the garments I promised you so that we might dress as ninja together. Oh yeah, I got this covered. I already bought two sets of that ninja cosplay stuff for us to wear. I beg your pardon? When I came here earlier, the shopkeeper lady was putting them out on the shelves. Wouldn't save her from Truck-chan. <laughs> so I bought one for you and for me. You know how popular these outfits are. I was super lucky I was able to snag them. Come on, let's go play ninja outside. Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. 
shall retrieve my shuriken from my quarter so that we might enjoy some target practice. Ooh, awesome! I can also use my masterful stitchery to transform thy ninja garments into sublime vision of poison. What'd you say? Mm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> the insolence of this one. Phew, looks like he was able to wrap this little escapade without making a scene. More importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. It makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Anyway, I guess I'll get going. Hasta la vista! You're just worried about your friends, yo. Does she have anything goodies for me? Any goodies? Any goody goodies? Beep, beep. Excuse the sheep. Hey Penny, who are you spying on this time? Ah, uh, how you doing, Yordi? Never been inside the art room before. It smells like paint in here, but in a good way. Something up? Um, well... Worried about this rumor that's been going around. People are saying Team Star's planning to raid the art room or something. It's probably just rubbish made up by some kids who are still scared of Team Star, though. Good question. My friends would never do anything like that, and who'd want to raid the art room anyway? Knock, knock, we're coming in. Yeah. They actually showed up. Oh, this Star Raptor is incredible. It looks just like it's about to attack with close combat. Hey, you with the art club or what? Uh, yeah, I am. Tell me that the rumor was for real. Aren't they actually gonna raid the art room? No, there's no way. They wouldn't. We should just keep watching. So, um, did you need anything? Um, yeah, uh, I'm here to ask, you know, if... Um, if you got any last words, Bunk? No way, it's a raid, it's literally a raid. Oh, knock it off, Melly. Being shy is one thing, but you can't go around threatening people to cover it up. His face reminds me of my ex lol. <laughs> oh god, Hiko. Uh, right, sorry, Ari, my bad. Uh, about your club, the art club, I mean, I, I was wondering if I could join. Oh, you want to ask about the club membership? Jeez, you have me scared there. Hope to any students who want to join, but, uh, yes. Isn't that great, Melly? Hang on, Ari, this guy's still got something to say. Spit it out. Oh, no, it's just, I was hoping I could ask what prompted you to go for the art club, that's all. Ask me why I want to join? Well, if I gotta explain, my pals made this outfit for me. These sick boots and everything. I'm big into flame patterns like this, so I want to try and make something like it myself. So yeah, painting. That's what I want to do. I'm a total newbie at it, but... I realized something when I saw a really simple looking fletchling painting on the wall there. Don't have to be some genius artist, I just want to make art that has its own charm, you know? The fletchling painting, eh? I did that one. It's one yours? I thought it was like a finger painting by a kindergarten or something. <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. Our precedents painting are really lovable because they're real simple. Everyone says so. You're the art club's president? I can already tell we'll have lots of fun in the club together. Could you tell us your name? Honest is nice. The red hair and the color, I'm just being honest here. Honest is nice, so... Hiko is just, but she had bigger boobs. Oh, I had red boots. <laughs> Wait, but did you see the size of those boots? Uh-huh. The name Smella. Yeah, good eye. My boots are the best. Pal of mine, who's a big arts and crafts nerd, made them for me. 
So the raid thing was just a misunderstanding. Well, that's a relief, but wow, didn't know that Melly wants to join the art club. I can't wait to see what Melly paints. I bet it'll be something amazing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Ah, Harry, how did you know we were here? Wait, were you supposed to be hiding? I'm already getting the old side effects. No, you're not, SQ. Stop exaggerating. <laughs> God damn it. My back was hurting. Oh, uh, SQ, SQ, SQ. I was wondering what was going on. You were just kind of hanging out there in the open over here. You don't need to worry anyway. Melly's been too nervous to notice you. It's just, even Melly gets the jitter sometimes. I mean, you think it's scary for everyone. That's why I came with her for moral support. But you know, I think she'll be just fine. And she's not the only one doing something new. Carmen and I have started up a wrestling club. Melly will have a blast here, sure. So I gotta keep up with her. I'll enjoy the time I have left at the Academy as much as I can. Anyway, it was nice bumping into you both. Hasta la vista. And Ari really are putting themselves out there, aren't they? I, I guess I'll head off too. Hasta la vista. Imagine being young. Listen to your elders. guys are crazy. Oh, hey, Yordi. Welcome to my classroom. All the students here are in the STEM track, just like me. So, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Not here. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. Privacy! Oh, look at all the evolutions! This is my room. Make yourself at home. It's nice and cozy in here. I know, right? Being surrounded by my VVs and figurines is kind of... is my kind of heaven. Anyway, you must be wondering why I brought you here. It's about my Team Star friends. They, they really mean the world to me. I love them all so much that I got scared they weren't gonna fit in okay or be happy at school. That's why I've been sort of spying on them since they came back. But it turns out I didn't need to worry. They've, they're already having a great time. And now I feel bad that I didn't have it in me to believe in them in the first place. They've all grown so much, but I haven't changed since Operation Starfall. I'm still scheming up ways to fix things by myself instead of having a little faith. It's only natural you'd worry. You really think so? That's the normal thing for friends to do? I feel better after talking it out with you, Jordi. Thanks. And um, I want you to know that you're a really important friend to me, too. That goes for Nemo Nemona as well, and Arvin, and Koraidon. You know, I don't normally like having people in my room. <sighs> are we gonna are we gonna go into that one, Hiko? Uh, no. No. You're an exception. Stop by for a chat or whatever anytime. Till our next confab, then. Hasta la vista. Cute. Look at all our VVs. The only ones she is missing is uh, just two. Oh, okay, I'm gonna grab a glass of milk.
same. Yo, Yordi, you grabbing something to eat too? Man, you sure did give me a beating in that Academy Ace tournament. Seems like all my close buddies are in another league, you know. I mean, look at you. You just up and became champion in your first year to boot. You know, that's pretty amazing, right? Then Demona top marks in every class of school and she's champion rank 2. And I hear Penny got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something. I seem to be the only average one around here, nothing special about me. You're great at cooking. Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. I only real learned how to do the basics because my mom wasn't around to cook for me. Wait, my mom! See, now that Malbostif is doing so much better, and since the treasure hunt's still going on and all, I've been thinking of a new goal, to find myself. I guess you've really got to start by knowing where you come from, which means I should learn more about my mom, right? So... She was a student at school once, too. That's what I heard. I'm gonna search the whole school for information about what kind of person she really was. Thanks for the inspiration, little buddy. You do know what that means, right? You gotta share. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do all this dialogue thing with everyone, and then I'm gonna go uh, reboot my console a bit, get some things done, see if I can make that Pokedex thing, get that Pokemon thing, Pokedex thing fixed. Uh, so yeah, I uh, well, you just saw me get all the last few Pokemon that I still needed, right? For uh, due to trading and capturing and whatever but because we've been running around everywhere for so long and I was kind of too lazy to actually just go and capture the few Pokemons that I still needed to grab because I just specifically uh, wasn't really sure where to search for everything and I just wasn't in the mood I thought like you know what we've been running across this place already for a long ass time we already had like what a bunch load of the Pokemon. It would be fine to just PK hex them in. And it looked like it was fine, but I just didn't realize that the game total Pokedex score wouldn't increase by it. So I'm gonna see if uh, after we do all the dialogue shit, uh, stop the recording real quick, go into PK hex again, see if I can fix that, and then we can get that last part done uh, for the. What's it called again? The the, the 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 shiny charm. So uh, that is the plan for the rest of this for a bit. Also, what the fuck are you on about, SQ? I got all these cookies. Um, no, we didn't. Sh not sharing. Okay, good to know. Did you share the chips? No, huh? I shared the chips in my dreams. <laughs> you already, boy. Did you pick a great moment to stop on by? Take a look at this. It's supposed to be a sample from my mom's research from back when she was a student. <laughs> That's what Director Cavill here told me. He's helping me out. When Sada was a student at this academy, I was still a mere researcher myself. Among my peers, it was already being, uh, being bandied about that an astonishingly gifted young woman was studying at Naraja Academy. So she really was always amazing, right from the start, huh? Uh, I guess I never really question it, but why is your office full of all this equipment? Oh, so you finally noticed, have you? This room was once your mother's research lab. I'll share in my dreams. It was? From what I've heard recounted, she apparently would become so absorbed in her research that she'd hardly ever return to her dorm room. She spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I also find myself more at ease run by such research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. I never knew. All these pieces of my mom's life, they were right in front of me f this whole time. I spent so long trying not to think about her that I never even noticed until now. 
Thanks for telling me about this director, Cavill, Clavel. And Yuri, thank you for being here with me to learn about it too. Ah, Master Arvin, I also intend to explain about these trophies here. He's already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Off like a flash, soon as some new thought crossed his mind. My dear Sada, I think that son of yours takes after you a very great deal. So I also got this 500 piece cat puzzle. You know, puzzles are kind of fun sometimes. If you just sit down, put on some music and just go and puzzle. It's not often though. I don't really have the patience for it. Okay, where is uh, my little uh, best of the uh, best friend? Yo, champ, coming to hit the books? Nah, just passing through. What? You just felt like climbing all those stairs to train your legs or something? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm here? Uh, yeah, I'm still working on my own little treasure hunt, trying to find myself and all. I was doing, was here in the entrance hall digging through my mom's research reports. I found this one of on um, one of the bookshelves. 500 piece poopy hell can't even do 100. 500 pieces is like so little. This book was so precious to my mom that she even kept a copy of it in a lighthouse lab. The Scarlet Book. That's what it was called, right? It's my first time really reading the bits that aren't about the Verbo Mystica. They're amazing. I mean, it all sounds, su sounds super fake, but it's got all these cool pictures and it's really fun to read. Like, look at this entry here. Holy shit! Uh, Risk Pokemon. While separated from the research team in the creator's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or a. or even alive at all, I know not. I bore a. blah with layers of overlapping her. Paragons and uh, but still, then Moonstone revealed as a whole its relished a mysterious brilliant dusk. Text on this page is all smudged and blurry in every copy of this book I've ever seen. Seems kind of suspicious, right? Of course, the whole book is full of unbelievable stories, the Herbal Mystica being one of them, but they turned out to be real. No, it's not little. It is. And after everything we saw in Aria Zero, well, makes the heart say it's all nonsense, huh? In fact, I think I might have been... It might have been this book that made my mom want to become a researcher. But she got so fixated on the ancient Pokémon she read about in here that it made her want to see one for herself. Wait, hold on. Isn't my mom's time machine the whole reason the ancient Pokémon ended up here in the first place? This book is from way before she made the time machine. But it mentions ancient Pokemon. Isn't that kind of weird? See? <laughs> That's a whole different story. Oh well. I'm sure it's just all made up anyway. But my mom believed that nonsense and even managed to make it a reality. I guess she really was something. I'm gonna learn from her example and start giving it my all too. I've got something I gotta do now. But I'll see you around, little buddy. I really hated that he calls me little buddy! Oh, you can now actually enter Penny's dorm room. I'm a gamer, kind of, not an artist. Uh, I'm a gamer, streamer, artist, person with autism, and maybe HDHD. Arvin! Arvin? Arvin. Ah! I was focusing so hard, didn't even notice you, bud. <laughs> I know, I know. Pretty rare to see me actually studying, right? But I'm at a pretty good stopping point. How about a break? I could use a change of scenery.
Wow, his room is so nice. Look at all the food supplies. And all the mangas! What do you think? Welcome to Shez Arvin. Well, Shez Arvin and Mabusti, really. It really screams Arvin. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wait, what screams Arvin to you? Anyway, uh, about the reason you saw me studying in a classroom like that. I went back and read the pages about the Herba Mystica and the Scarlet Book in the Scarlet Book again. It made me remember how things were back when Bosif was all weak and everything. I couldn't seem to do anything to help him, and boy, it sure didn't feel good. Of course, I'm really glad that I was able to find all the Herba Mystica together with you. But there's got to be other people who are still suffering the same way I was back then, worrying about their Pokemon and their their sick and so I uh, don't laugh okay I've decided that I'm gonna become a cook Sep and SQ call you little munchkin yeah I hate that I'm gonna make super healthy food bursting full of stuff Pokemon needs to feel great I'll be behind you all the way brother yeah thanks I knew I could count on you to be supportive to be all supportive like that the culinary world might be a bit different, but I swear I'm gonna be just famous as my mom. So I guess I can close the book on my little hunt to find myself. Time to start a new chapter on that's all about working towards my new dream. And hey, feel free to stop by in my room anytime. Mabosif will always be glad to see you. Ruff. Mabosti, I really, there's something about Mabosti that I really like as a Pokemon, but something bothers me about it as well. Okay, time to go talk to... <clears throat> Naimona. Do 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 do. Oh, hey, Yordi! You hate it. Oh, too bad. SQ will never stop. Great timing. I've been having the hardest time lining up opponents to battle. But now I found you in the schoolyard, no less. Be silly enough to battle. What do you say? Sure! I knew I could count on you. Oh, I only have one Pokemon, though. Oh, you spent two whole hours battling Pokemon with Nimona. Ah, good stuff. Gotta step up my game, so I'll be ready anytime for that Ace Academy Ace Tournament. I know I sprang my battle fever on you out of nowhere. Thanks for being up to it. Well, that was uh, quick. So you're good at battling, right? Great. Meet you at schoolyard in a minute. Uh, hold up, you're Nimona, right? Like the student council president, that Nimona? Yep, that's me. <laughs> yeah, maybe some other time. They're all shitting their pants. Yordi, hola! I didn't even need to say anything, SQ. You just stop it on your own. You just get bored that quickly. Who's that? Oh, him? Don't know who he was. I was just munching my sandwich and I heard him bragging about this tough Pokemon, so I invited him to battle. wonder what Pokemon he's gonna use. Can't wait to see. Wait, I forgot to get his contact info. How are we supposed to plan when he will face off? Oh well, I'll make sure we battle next time I run into him. Anyway, guess you came to get some grub, huh? I'm not the one to stand between someone and their meal. Catch you later. <laughs> Nimona is like such a battle drug, yo. She'll do anything for a battle. What? Nothing. 
What, what in the butt? You tricked me. No, I didn't. Better stuck up real good on Pokeballs while I'm here. Yordi! Oh my gosh, listen to this. Remember that guy from the cafeteria? I ran into him again at the entrance hall, so I asked him to battle him, but he said no. He was like, what's the point? You're a champion and a battle whiz. You'd wreck me. Don't get what he meant. I mean, you can have fun battling even if you lose, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> For real? I mean, sure, no one loves losing, but it's definitely not pointless. It teaches you stuff. Man, Pokemon battles can get so complicated sometimes. And I wish he hadn't called me a whiz. Work hard at this stuff. It's not like it's all just comes natural to me. Like, throwing Pokeballs obviously doesn't come naturally to me, for one thing. I need to th ah, I think I need a mental reset. I'm gonna go find someone to battle. See, you soon you're- what? I, I mean, I'm right in front of you! I can show you real good battling! <laughs> there you are, Yordi. I had a feeling you'd turn up if I hung out here for a while. And lo and behold, I was right. Well, now that you found that I found you, we should swing by my room and have a chat. Yeah, guys, we should swing by her room and have a chat, right? Right, guys? Right? <sighs> Tata chan, welcome to the Zona Nemona. It's so very you. Aw, oh, thanks. Wait a sec. I know we've been to your room before. I've never had you over here. Wild! Uh, you mean you never had a guy like me in your room? You know what happens, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll stop. I'll stop with the sexual innuendos. It's a Pokemon game, guys. Anyway, uh, listen, Yordi, you know how I, well, you know how I really like Pokemon battles? Like, really, really like him? Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> God damn it, I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop! <laughs> cool, and yeah, you know how when you really like something, you dive in deep? That's what I did with Pokemon battles, and I just kind of became champion. But then I found out that's pretty special. That's normally... It's not so simple for most people. Perfect girlfriend. Well, perfect? Maybe not, but... Who needs perfect? Perfect is uh, overrated. Would tell me to my face that I'd only manage it because I have some innate gift or because I was raised differently or whatever. And suddenly I start to feel like there was this invisible wall between me and everyone else. So I start going easy when I battle my friends. I just want everyone to have fun. Oh, but don't worry. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going 100% all out. I'm a pervert. Especially since I'm lucky enough to have an opponent who can beat me even when I'm full hardcore mode. So just promise me one thing, okay, Yordi? Promise me you'll always stay my equal. You and me, true rivals. Can I not actually surpass you? Can I, can I not be, like, better than you? Because I am, but uh, <laughs> well, that's what friends are for. <laughs> You're the best, Yordi. Thank you. Oof, that got pretty personal. A little bit embarrassed over here. Anyway, since we're equals, I gotta start having you over as much as we hang out in your room. Feel free to burst into the Zona Nemona whenever you want. Get ready for the Academy Ace Tournament, because I'm going to stomp you this time. <laughs> uh, Nemona, you're actually, like... Impressively cute, but I can't really deal with that. <sighs> okay, entrance hall.
Beep boop. Where is my uh, OBS? Oh, here it is. Okay, guys, stopping the recording real quick. LBRB. And we're back! Last reward is a beast ball, apparently. I didn't actually think we'd get a beast ball for free. Uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, fix the little problem we had. Uh... Now we officially got all 400. I, I feel, I literally feel kind of dumb that I like messed that up so badly. Uh, I mean, it's part of the fact that's to do with the fact that I'm greedy as hell, obviously. Um, yeah, now let's go to our professor in biology lab. The very biology lab. And he should give us a shiny fuck charm, I mean. Ah, hello, hello, Yordi. What are you telling me? You've already registered 400 species of Pokemon in your Pokedex? Yes. I mean, it's not that impressive. Like, people have been playing longer, uh, less time than I have and have already been doing this on multiple playthroughs. Ugh, but whatever. We got there, fucking finally. Whoa, whoa, you did it! You completed the Pokedex, that's amazing, really amazing! Research on the Pokémon of Paldea region is moving ahead like never before, and it's all thanks to you, Yordi. You know, I visited the strange shop the other day and happened to pick up a little something. It might not seem like much to get a second-hand gift, but here, from me to you. Do -do -do -do, the shiny charm! Now, what's all this commotion about, I wonder? <laughs> ah, Director Cal Clavel. Clavel. Calvel. I really don't know how to pronounce that name. The student of mine completed their Pokedex. Upon my word! What a marvelous accomplishment, Master Yordi. Really surprised me, too. Pulling off a feat like this. Well, Mr. Jacques' delight really shows how commendable your work has been. Please allow me to reward you with a small gift. Students who achieve great feats such as this deserve to be recognized for their hard work. This congratulatory, congratulatory message penned by the company that certifies Pokedex completions is for you. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all, Trainer Yordi. Why does it not say champion, eh, bitch? Or you can figure out your Pokedex app so that you may view your diploma there anytime you like. Programming is another of Director Clavel's skills, you know. But anyway, you sure did a great job with the Pokedex, Jordi. If completing the Pokedex was one of the treasures you were after, then I'd say you had a resounding success on your treasure hunt. Quite right, Mr. Jacques. Fitting command, indeed. If rather surprising coming from you. <laughs> well, I'm his homeroom teacher after all. Got to act like it from time to time, I guess. If you may have, you may have completed your Pokedex, but there are still plenty of adventures to be had. Hi, he called you Master. Yeah, he keeps calling me Master. I don't really know why. But there are still plenty of adventures to be had. I hope you'll keep looking for new Pokémon to befriend here in Paldea. Very much look forward to watching over your continued progress as well. Okay, that means we officially got our thing. So yeah, I just uh, kind of shortcut it due to uh, not having to actually catch all the Pokemons that I was still lacking. It was a little amount that I still needed to grab, but due to the fact that uh, we ended up uh, at some point like not catching any of the Pokemons we ran into, other than the new Pokémon, uh, it just made it... Uh, my head was just like, yo, I'm not in the mood for this, never mind. <laughs> so uh, PK Hex came in to save and yet ruin it at the same time. But uh, that's what you get for being a cheating bastard. Uh, but yeah, all the other Pokémons that we uh, still needed to catch 
and breed and everything. You've seen me just do that on stream. Uh, the Pokemons that I didn't do yet were the ones that I could have caught but decided not to catch to not make the streams run out too long or the game go on for too long. Obviously also not to mentally strain myself with the fact that all the fucking Pokemons didn't want to get into their fucking Pokeballs. Uh, so yeah. That is uh, one way I did this. And now it's time for... I don't know yet. We got a little bit more time. We can do some raids, I think. Because I still that's the one thing I still need to do is unlock the 6-star raids. By doing raids. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to do them on the overworld. Or I could join other people doing raids. We'll see in a moment. Obviously, we want to do 5-star raids, right? Just do a random 5-star EV raid. I might just run around to see if I can find some raids easy to unlock that. Ooh, tomorrow is going to be a warmer day than yesterday. Boo, I scared you. No, you didn't. What do you do? didn't see it. I... Uh, I uh, did a thing. <laughs> no, I fixed my Pokedex. We caught everything. We have all Pokemons in our uh, boxes right now, but the Pokedex wasn't completed due to uh, something that I messed up personally. So uh, I had to go back into uh, a program and fix it. Bug type. I uh, should be fine, right? Sacha, Akidaru, Kailis. <sighs> so I've been watching all the YouTube videos about every Pokemon that is good for any of the fucking high-level raid fights. Mm, I got like... Uh, uh, what's it called again? The Galarian Meowth of Lucian. I don't really fucking remember what that one is called. We got that one set for if ever anyone wants to ever do a run like that. I also got for the solo runs. Uh... So I got this plush. It says Dutch design. What does that mean? Uh, it's a Dutch design. There's not much else to it. Uh, we caught the Goldeo setup ready. Let me actually throw this in there. We see terrain so that we don't get uh, like fucked over by whatever. Ooh. It's good that I did that now and not later. Go into belly drum. So I uh, learned something new as well, and that's it's actually something that I haven't heard anyone on YouTube talk about yet. Shit's still gathering the energy. I was kind of hoping I was gonna end up before that, but nope. Uh, yeah, so anyways, if you give... Um, you want to, like, stay full health, right? As much as health as you can possibly get during six-star raids and whatever. But if you give your Pokémon a uh, high attack power or high attack value with uh, Belly Drum, and then you make it wear a Shell Bell, you actually get a shit ton of. Uh, HP back if you like deal a lot of damage. Now we're on the barrier, so I don't deal that much damage, but it's, it should be like a decent amount to keep me alive. SQ is sleepy. SQ, I hope you had a good birthday. And, uh... I'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll see if... Uh, um, probably tomorrow we're gonna do a... Uh, drawing stream. Purely for you, so that we can... Uh, listen to some music, okay? Because I've been... Uh, grinding the Pokemon for a bit too long. See, this is a little bit weird, though. Uh, the EV just got its HP back after I, like, knocked it down. 
and it's been happening a lot during the actual raid battles. I just don't know why that happens exactly. Honestly, it should already be dead at this point. Okay, it's actually breaking. Good. You don't want to catch it. Too lazy for that. Careful min, suit bells. I keep getting so many fucking suit bells. Bug Terra. Obviously XP. I don't know how many raid battles I actually need to do to make it work. But I guess I'm just gonna run around on the overworld myself for a bit. Let's uh, go to the exit. Let's see what the closest by a raid battle is. I do want to unlock the six-star raid battles. There are quite a, a lot of raids nearby here. One is an EV steel type. This is an EV steel type, right? It is a five star. I would like to do the five stars. Wait, what the fuck is this? It's a water type. I'm going fairy type. Actually, steel type one might not be bad anyways. Let's do both. I need to do both anyways. We just need to do some... Uh... We're gonna do them alone. Because I don't want to wait on people. And I want to see how powerful... Uh... Our... Uh... What he is... Okay, so what Pokemon is this? Oh wait, I forgot you were in the game actually. I was literally thinking to myself, what the fuck is this Pokemon? But um Okay, no makes sense. Misty Terrain. It's a four star, so Ailey Evan and Luke will probably do a decent amount of damage to it. That bug. Belly drum. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's good for me, because that means I can actually uh, have a little bit of funsies, right? Razor shell water type me. That doesn't do that much, because I'm water fairy. It removes negative effects from itself. Uh, just play rough. Or the stab. Look at the, the amount of damage that we just did, purely due to uh, belly drumming. It's insane. The amount of HP I get restored as well. Now that I think about it, I, uh, well, do I go damage over healing? Because if I solo with... Um, what's it called again? Goldio? The evolution of Gimme Goal, right? I could, technically speaking, um, give him a Shell Bell as well. I'm personally really looking forward to trying the 7 star Charizard grades when they come out. Okay, so Steel type is technically a weakness of mine. So if I get uh, Terra Blasted, that's going to suck. But I should be fine, honestly. So again, the, same, the entire same team. I went like running through raids and I keep getting the same team of uh, group of friends as well. So pop in the Misty Terrain, start with that, use Hyper Voice, that's fine. Stomping Tentrum, Drill Run. Just 
Belly Drum Discharge. Shouldn't be too bad. Hyper Voice. Uh, I was thinking of like putting Drain Punch on the Zuma Reel, but the Zuma Reel can learn Drain Punch, which is kind of crazy. We almost one shot it. <laughs> I do lose defense and attack uh, using Superpower, which is kind of not so great. But it should be more than enough to actually finish off EV, right? And if not, if I have max HP again, we can always just do Belly Drum again. Oh yeah, now I, te I technically do have to do Belly Drum again. Special attack rows, special defense rows. Yom. Yeah, that shouldn't work, shouldn't do anything due to the Misty Terrain. So yeah, I've only got this setup done, like, today, so I wasn't really sh I'm still not really sure on how to utilize it correctly. Same with the other three, though. I don't know how to utilize it yet correctly. And now that we officially got uh, Iron Hands, I can also start making an uh, Iron Hands build which is supposedly stronger than Azumarill. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, to be fair, because Azumarill does exactly the same thing. It only, like, stops something. But, uh... What's it called? Iron Hands can actually, uh, like, deal more damage than Azumarill due to having Stab at fighting, I think. Something like that. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know all the details of it. It's been like just the day that I've done the research and built the team. Built Pokemon. Wait, Bamboo? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I thought this was food. I didn't realize this is actually shit that I can sell. I don't actually know if it sells very well, to be fair, but... It's good anyways to have like a multitude of different uh, raid po Pokemon to raid with. This is a three star, do we want to? Yeah, let's do the three star anyways. That one actually dies very quickly. Just need to land one hit. I don't know how many raids I needed to do before I unlock my three star. Uh, three star, six star. This is three star that we're doing right now. Spation. I do set up Misty Terrain first, I think. And it's purely because I think that Haley, Luke, and everyone else is gonna deal a decent amount of damage that will. Oh, it's already dead. <laughs> Never mind, bro. I didn't even need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it gives me XP candy, water stones, terra, shards, mushrooms, cell thingies. At this point, what do I even care, right? Just gotta keep on going until I get a call, a little cell phone call. A cell call. A cell phone call? Blah, blah, blue, blue, blue. Let's see, where's the closest by... These are all Eevee ones. I don't... Well, I don't hate it, but I don't like it either that they spawn so many Eevee. Is 
It's not like Eevee is a very strong Pokemon after all. Five star though. I already got one Herba Mystica. I need like one of each, right, for a few challenge for a few quests still. Mm. And then we could start shiny hunting afterwards. I mean, I can also like once I have like uh, one of each herb uh, Mystica, I can start uh, duplicating them as well with the writing Pokemon glitch. I guess you'd call that. Okay, start with the misty terrain. I need to get my uh, Wooper, the Pooper, to uh, evolve. I really like uh, the... whatever the fucking new Quagsire is called. Belly drum. I should be fine to still land a hit, right? You're not gonna... Terror Blast should not be very effective to me. Yeah. Dark type. I can just. Play her off. Boom. Look at the fucking HP go. And again, it heals itself from zero HP. Why the fuck does it do that? That is so lame. I swear, from the guys that I've been watching, right, uh, they've been able to just one-shot it without having to deal with the shield. Yeah, and at this point it's just my bet best bet to reuse. What's it called again? Belly Drum? Because I got full HP again anyways. I don't have to worry about that. And I play her off to finish off the shield. So yeah, five stars are pretty decent. I I really need to test this on six stars solo. Because I really enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, haven't been able to do six stars yet. Like, I mean, I just, today on the stream, we did finish the ace tournament thing, right? And you need to ace tournament thing uh, beaten. Otherwise, you can't get uh, six stars unlocked. So you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. I don't really get great ones. Uh, dark. Ooh, I kind of want to try and hunt to do, try to hunt that, but I don't think I can today or tomorrow. I don't know what my. Switch time is set to. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> what are you worried about, Jordi? It's not even the correct time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. I did not think that through. I mean, by the time I wake up tomorrow, it's going to be near midnight. So, I mean, I can set the time back. Obviously. But that's not really what I want to do, yo. Loof. On the stone. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but chains and whips excite me. <clears throat> I also have the water zoom reel. It literally does the same thing 
Uh, I except haven't given that zoom reel a uh, shell bell yet. Honestly, this one shouldn't be too hard with this team. <laughs> it should get cleared up very quickly. Seeing as it's weak against ground and... Well, every single one of these guys learns a ground-type move. Okay, so fire type is not really good for fairy type. I just noticed. I don't do super effective damage on it. Hey, Meryl. Is that a regular Hatane? Yeah. Sorry, I got insanely distracted. First, I didn't realize it was Hatane and Hooper within each other, and then everything looked uh, surprisingly interesting. What the fuck is Arcanine doing here? It's not a little bit uh, early. I want to shiny hunt a Hooper, a Pelde and Hooper. Don't know what color it turns into, but I kind of want to shiny hunt that. Uh, let's see, where's the next closed by fighting type? You know what? <laughs> Jigglypuff. Puff, puff. Or also nothing. Gotta keep an eye out for the shinies, yo. Especially now that we finally have a shiny charm. I mean, I already caught, like, four shinies. My first... No, yeah, my first shiny was uh, uh, Rock Ruff, which is really cool. I really like shiny Rock Ruff. And then we got our second was a Terra Battle shiny Shinx, which was really interesting to have that as my second shiny. Especially because Shinx is my, like, Shinx evolution line. So Luxray is my favorite uh, electricity type. Electric type. I mean, I really worked hard to get uh, shiny Alpha uh, Luxray in. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, Legends Arceus. I think I hunted shiny Shinx in every single one of the games since I started shiny hunting. No, that's a lie. I didn't. I done. I've done a lot, many, but no. I think it's only gen, starting in Gen A, purely due to the fact that it's so easy to hunt. I don't even have to do anything, technically speaking. <laughs> uh, this doesn't help. <laughs> these low-level raids. I just want to do high-level raids, guys. <laughs> Already made my uh, Pokemon te my Pokemon's too strong for this, and that goes for like everything the game has to offer right now. The only thing we can do left is doing the six stars and above raids and shiny hunt. Because obviously he already overleveled himself for everything, so everything was a fucking piece of cake. Uh, let's go do the bug one. I don't really care. I need to do all of them to unlock, so we gotta unlock it. We got the bra. I think 
from Blaine's video, he said 10 to 8 in total, and it doesn't really matter. Ooh, what the fuck is that one? Okay, listen, I got distracted by a fucking Terra Pokemon. The Terra Pokemon do respawn, apparently, every day. Torkoal. Nope. Um... I also want to hunt the shiny toads. Bulb. Or bulb. Toads. Whatever it's called. There are a few Pokemon in this game that I really want to shiny hunt. Especially since they made it so nice. I really do like the shiny hunting systems that they have in place currently. Don't really care about that one. Sudo Wudo! I need to get up tomorrow early. And it's past midnight. Probably shouldn't be uh, hanging around much longer. But you know what it's like. You gotta finish a stream correctly. With that, I mean to say, like, you gotta finish what you were doing. Because I think unlocking the six star raids is a good point to end uh, the game's finale for YouTube as well. It's not necessarily a finale though, like, yeah, I'm gonna continue and add more, uh, play a few more extras, but they're mostly going to be extra streams with just shiny hunting and. What do you call it? Shiny hunting and doing raids and such. But at that point I don't really know yet, because we still haven't done like actually actual all the missions. We still need to get all the Herba Mysticas. And that's most likely what we're gonna be doing next. And then I don't know what game we're going to be playing next yet. Uh, at least what we're going to do is make thumbnails for the next two games, which is either God of War or... or Well, it is God of War, that's for sure one thing. And uh, Crisis Core Remake, Remaster, whatever. Those are at least a few of the things that need to be done. Five star? Three star again. <laughs> uh, let's see what the internet has to say about uh, Pokemon SV to unlock six star raids. Before I started the stream today, I've been way too busy. 10 4 star or higher raids with. Wait, that's new. That's something I didn't hear before. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I wish I knew that before. I done... didn't do that many. I've mostly been grinding 3 stars because fucking 3 stars only appearing. Ten, though, like really? Gumhoos. So we'll just uh, play rough. 
Okay, so we're uh, going back to online. Only five and four stars. I think we started with one five, then we ran into a four. Or was that a three? And we did a five star EV on our own. 100% sure about that at least. Okay, so that's interesting. Pokemon and six star raids actually have the chance for hidden abilities. Didn't know that. But then again, what the fuck do I know? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go Dragon Eevee. Oh, that's fucking fantastic, a Dragon Eevee. Not gonna lie. It's probably one of the better ones. Who does a night rape appear in six star uh, raids? That's actually kind of fire. I would love to run into an annihilate. I'm ready to go. Ooh, what does Shiny Annihilate look like? Jordi is getting super distracted. Uh, where is he? Set a B. And... Uh, yeah, <laughs> annihilate the fucking thank god for Google, yo. Hmm. The entry dex is not yet fixed, it seems. It's yet to be officially released. It's not really useful to me, is that? Ooh, he becomes bluish instead of just pure grey. Annihilate is definitely one of the cool-ass Pokemons in-game. There are some cool-ass evolutions. But uh, the Dunsparce is a huge disappointment. Okay, Dragon. Or Calican Pulse. Photon Synthesis. Start with Magic uh, Mystic Terrain. Porch Song. Which is actually kind of a good ability, even though it doesn't do shit. Ice Spinner. Belly drum. This EV can literally do jack shit against me. Oh, that is super cringe. Uh, fuck. That timing is really bad, I'm not gonna lie. Probably should have just gone into uh, an attack first. The timing couldn't have gone worse. I don't think he does it twice, right? I haven't done enough. Wait, where's my... Wait, where's my Mystic Field? Misty terrain, I mean. Is it even still there? Did he cancel out my misty terrain? That would fucking suck. Player off. Fucking die. Critical hit, even. Nice. And, well, a little bit of HP back. Who 
kind of surprised. Like, where the fuck was my Misty Terrain? Did I accidentally not use it? That wouldn't be too surprising, honestly, if that happened. Play rough. Earthquake. BB avoid the attack. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Did they cancel my uh, attack power again? Oh no, it's already dead. <laughs> the game is buggy as hell online, yo. Like, I can't tell what's going on. Ability capsule. Not the one that I need though, but still it's something. You need ability patches. Pokemon Portal. Damn, I want a snack. I do have two bags of chips. But it'd be very unhealthy to be snack- Ooh, Fairy Luxury. Sorry, I got distracted. I see a Luxury and I think, ooh. <laughs> like, it can't be helped, yo. Kawaii Kimochi. That's just what it meant to be. I don't know what I'm singing. I know what Kawaii means. Kawaii means cute, and Kimochi means it feels good or something. So I'm just saying random shit right now. I don't think I've had this bad communication when it comes to uh, raids or anything as bad as in this game. Do really hope that they put out a few fixes soon for most of the shit. Because it's, it's a great game, it's fun, and definitely if it was o because it's open world and I wouldn't be streaming it, I would put a lot more time into it. I already have like 63 hours into the game. And then uh, I would probably be at this point on 75 hours if I excluded or like did not exclude it, include it. English is very hard. Uh, it's just it just shows. If I if I did not. Yeah, I'd be on 75 hours by this point if I had not cheated in those few Pokemons that I either needed to breed or find again to catch. And it, it was literally only nine Pokemon, right? That I was missing. Everything else I already had in a shape or form. I should have actually swapped to uh, my water type. Fuck it. Sea terrain. But yeah, it's just uh, what I decided to end up going with just for a little bit of ease. Because it's not like it's a very hard job to get all those Pokemon caught and found. Because I ran into them, I've already seen them, I know where they are, technically speaking. It's just... That, uh, I just fucking oak code that fucking Eevee. Uh, yeah, I think I did, didn't I? Anyways, <clears throat> who needs a shield when you're just OP as shit? We don't need to catch an Eevee. Unless it appears shiny, we don't need it. 
Hey, a free bottle cap. That's nice. What was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But yeah, that's like where I start to realize when I've been streaming for a long time and I've been playing games for a long time. I enjoyed playing games more casually and not as I need to... Well, when it comes to completing stuff, when that was a lot more easy to do when I was playing casually on my off time, right? That would also mean that I put a lot more time into a game. But when it, when I'm streaming, I can't I can't stream for fucking twelve hours a day. Uh, I mean, I do eight to ten hours a day regularly. But when I'm playing a game on my own, I usually play like uh, I wake up in the morning, I grab my breakfast, I put on some YouTube and whatever, and I start what 10 a.m. and when I go to bed. Uh, it's, what, 11 p.m.? So there's a huge difference in hours that I usually spend on a game playing it than uh, when I, like, stream it. Like, today's stream, for example, was only six, is six and a half hours right now. And I need to fix my microphone and everything before I could actually start stream. I would have started around, like, 5 p.m. Uh, if everything went the way I wanted it to go. Uh, just sadly, you know, didn't. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the few reasons where I'm like... I love gaming, and I love getting to analyze games. But when it comes to games like Pokemon... Uh, sometimes, especially recently, I like the step of Pokemon Legends Arceus. It was really doable for me to just go in and explore and find everything, level everything up. Uh, evolve everything that was a lot more doable especially because the world was like built into sections uh, but once you throw me in a big open world like this and there is every nook and cranny has something to explore <sighs> it's, ju it's just different it literally is just different there's nothing that you can do to make it easier on my end so to say and, you know, that's not bad, but I will take, like, my easy outs at some points. Uh, if it's, uh, I'll do the stream on a different date, or uh, I'll work offline first. Or in case, in this, oh, this is gonna suck, I'm gonna get blasted, and I'm gonna lose my fucking belly drum. Yeah, he's gonna fucking use the shield and I'm gonna lose my belly drum. Ugh. Motherfucker! Would've blasted this fucking Eevee to next... to uh, its next life, yo. I gotta heal up. Can't... gotta read belly drum. Fact that there are people. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that I'm a cheater. Obviously, I. I just said that I like putting Pokemon into my game to make my life easier. But I highly doubt that this very rare version. Uh, I, I like have been paying attention right to the videos and people are like, uh, yeah, this Pokemon does not spawn very often. It's the same as our raging, raging moon. I think it was called Roaring Moon has a very low spawn rate, just like their uh, steel guard of, guard of four looking like thing, right? Very slow, a very low spawn rate. And even if you have like uh, the right uh, food recipes on, it's still not a... Oh, crap baskets, I didn't want to use my superpower. Why the fuck did it not just... 
deep breaths you already just go with it. Uh, but yeah, it's a very hard Pokemon to spawn, and even if you use like a specific sandwich to make them spawn easier, it still has very low spawn rate according to some people. It's dead now. It's fine. <laughs> <coughs> So I highly doubt. I mean, there are god shiny hunters and there are god shiny hunters that have insane luck. Maybe I shouldn't just open my mouth. Because. Wait, is that a shiny? I can't fucking tell. He's a little bit more gray. Is that just pure. You know what? We'll catch this. This might just purely be due to the fact that it's uh, the area, the lightning. Shiny Eevee's usually way paler after all. Yeah, no, this is not a shiny. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is that a shiny? He just looked so pale. Thunderstone, Big Pearl, XP Candy. Need to stack up on all the XP Candy again. Yeah, okay, that's just a regular Eevee. That was definitely just the area. I was like, wait, is that a shiny? No, bro, that's not a shiny. You're just blind. And you're... And you call yourself an artist. Let's go after... Oh my god, I can't pick. Uh, poison type, let's avoid that. Ice type as well. Let's just go for a dark one. Let's go for this uh, Bicky Bulk, whatever it's called. Tsukishima, Tsuki, sh Sushi. It's a sushi fish, according to some at least. Well, that went fairly quick. Uh, yeah, I'm fairy type fighting. Should be fine. done three now this is the fourth we did two I honestly wouldn't even be able to tell when a specific Pokemon is shiny or not either way in these raids they are way too glowy I think I might actually catch this one Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna fucking Misty Terrain this. Might deal a little bit less electrical damage, but... Wow, that's... Uh... Chilling water. Giovo got slapped, boy! Ooh, I actually lost attack there. That's not great. But I get maxed up anyway, so fuck it. Just don't get hit by chilly water again. Use counter. It fails. Duh. Play rough. Okay. Boom! In the face. Oh, that was surprisingly weak. Oh no, it's dead. I don't think I had a yellow sashimi yet. At least that's what it's called, right? Sushimi? Sushimi! Capsule. It's not what we need. It's not what we needed. But it's nice nonetheless. I mean, there are probably a few Pokemon that I want to switch basic abilities from anyways. Even though I could buy... Stretchy form. Mimikry Pokemon. Tatsugiri. So 
But I'm gonna be working on my windows tomorrow, so it's gonna be incredibly cold in my house. Uh, you know what? We'll just no, not steal Eevee. We'll use the psychic Eevee. <laughs> Let me see. It is today. Slant. Yeah, they're here around eight and a half to eight, half past seven. So I really need to set my alarm for like an hour before that, so that I can at least take a shower. At some point, I'm going to be playing through Pokemon Violet, and I'm going to be running a pure Dragon-type team. Obviously, after that, I can start shiny hunting specific uh, Pokemon in Violet as well. Mm. But I'm going to start off with... Uh, it's, I'm not gonna do that until, like, probably early... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that until, like, way, way that Pokémon Bank is available, because I'm obviously gonna go throw my entire... Uh, living decks over purely for the Pokédex unlock. Because that just makes my life ten times easier. Oh, that's so nice that she does that right now. Or they do that right now. It means I can just belly drum and the next turn I can fucking end this fucking life. Unless he shields, but... Uh, it's me and my big fucking mouth. Me and my big fucking mouth, yo. <laughs> Stop stealing my Terra Orb charge, bitch. But what was I saying again? I think I'm gonna do, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> when I'm gonna play that game... I'm gonna play through that game as a dragon trainer. For shits and giggles. I have too much hype for dragon-type Pokémon. And this game is literally filled to the brim with them. And as soon as Pokebank comes back, I can bring Rayquaza in. <laughs> Rayquaza is my legit my favorite uh, legendary Pokemon. Especially it's shiny. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's the phone call. Hello, hello, Yordi. It's Jacques. Thanks for taking on all those terror raid battles for us. Our investigation is moving along thanks to you. Yordi, we have some new data. It seems that terrestrial energy is released from a great creator of Paldea from time to time and... It's having an effect on the crystals, the Ray Terra crystals that get hit by especially strong blasts of this energy are apparently transforming into black crystals. The Terra Pokemon found that these black crystals are incredibly powerful, so he must so much that average trainers won't stand a chance against them. 
You're anything but average, but I'm afraid this is too dangerous even for your Yardi. Even if you find the location of one of these black crystals on your map app, please do not, I repeat, do not take on the terror raids there. I got it. Hmm, you almost seem a little too willing to agree. Sorry for getting you involved in this only to ask you to step away, but whatever you do, do not go looking for these black crystals. I'm counting on you here to make the right choice. So what do you guys think I'm gonna do? <laughs> Uh, is this it? No, this is dark, right? This is just a dark EV. This is it. Uh, this is fire. Okay, uh, I do think we need to... Mm. Grab our other Pokemon. The water one. I gave that one Rain Dance, though. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, I don't really understand why this one had Rain Dance. I think I should technically give that one uh, Misty Terrain as well. Uh, Bag. Do I have another Shell Bell? Of course, he already does not have another shell bell. Uh, let me first Azumarill summary. I know Rain Dance will increase the damage, right? But Rain Dance is not necessarily going to do me any good. Thing hand, play rough. Do I have. Green kiss, substitute, play uh, here in our missing tree. Like, it's not necessarily the damage that I'm worried about, it's more like this, the effects. And this is why, uh, for example, uh, boxes. Oh yeah, by the way, you can see that I've done some cloning as well when I went and fixed my Pokedex. But uh, Gol Goldengo has like the ability good as gold and cannot be affected by most status effects, which is super chill. Uh, it just doesn't do as much or isn't just as good as Azumarill technically is. He should technically be the best Pokemon for me to use. I just need to set him up still, but I'm not feeling it. Okay, uh, let me actually go just buy a second. Shell Belt. And then do our first six star raid. With a bit of luck, we get some. Um, H.M. Herba Mysticas. You can say whatever the fuck you want about Game Freak, but some of those people are fucking geniuses. Using Herba Mysticas, right, as your uh, get freaking um, wait. Bitch, please, I w thought you were in here. Uh, no, they weren't. Uh, and we have... Levencia, right? Delbert presents... Shurikens. What was I saying again? Dundee, no, no. What's up, Sashibudi? Not much. What's up with you? How's life? Okay, battle items. Eh, here's my shell bell. 
know what, I'll buy just three because they're useful. It's been all right, nice, glad to hear. You have been uh, hanging about. I need this one, by the way. One of these. That's nice, sure as hell is. So what have you been up to these past couple of... Uh, I don't know. When was the last time that I saw you again? <laughs> I don't even remember what game we were playing. I'm so bad at this, it's like... Uh, this time I think was... Jetstream Sam, I think. <sighs> Jetstream Sam, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not much better because I definitely don't remember jack shit. Where's my... Did I go past it already? Lucky, ah, uh, here. Get milk! Oh, get milk! Okay, give me a sec, let me teleport. Get Very big, very strong. Oh yeah, Lele. Wait. I'm waiting. <clears throat> sort of. Ooh, Vaporeon. Nice. One year and six months. Jesus Christ. Time goes so fast. Wowzers. Exactly. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> if you don't pay attention for a bit, time will just slip you by. Okay, let's go have a test run against our first level 6 raid. Uh, start with setting up Misty Terrain. Use this yawn, yeah, fucking figure, you butthole. This is why we set up Misty Terrain, so I shouldn't fall asleep. Uh oh, that's bad. Of course, I just belly drum. Oh no, what what fuckery is this? Which idiot set up. Uh, a grass field! Sure, you can ask a question. As long as it isn't about how much I cheat in life. <laughs> Hyper voice, Dragon Claw, come on, wake up isn't real. I don't want you to take offense to this. That's fine, I won't be offended that fast. Come on, Azumarill, wake up. Thanks, that's what I like to see. Now use Waterfall. Yes. <laughs> I do, in fact, have autism. Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Use Surf. That's not gonna do shit to me, so... That's cool, because my brother does, lol. <laughs> the fact that I have autism is like uh, my part of my entire image. I'm ginger, I have autism, I'm crazy as fuck, and 
I bet there are a few more. <laughs> So what was I saying again? I don't remember. <laughs> Fuck. About your hair? Oh yeah. I'm ginger, I'm crazy, and uh, another other few things. Check my status. How uh, am I still max power? Yeah, I am. Good. Blast is Vaporeon with a waterfall. Yeah, autism, like, having autism, it, it's not necessarily cool, but it's fine. It's just what it is. You gotta live with it, and you gotta develop yourself with it, and at some point, uh... Well, you'll see. Dundee, thank you very much for stopping by, dude, and, uh, talk to you soon again. Good luck. Okay, so this setup with the Logan and the fucking seeds that he keeps dropping is a fucking pain in my ass. I don't like this. Azumarill woke up. Uh -huh. Belly drum. Bye bye! In the next year! <laughs> so true. So fucking true, bro. Dress lies, water. Have a good rest of your day, bud. Okay, please don't kill me while I'm tr just terrestrializing and let me hit you right in the fucking face with my waterfall attack. Surf, don't kill, don't kill. Olix! <laughs> I do lose quite a lot of time here, which is super bad. Azumarill should definitely be able to solo this hard fall. Uh, just go into Belly Drum again. No, not Yom, you butt. Okay, just hit Waterfall and finish it off. Hyper Voice, it's fine. Oh, it's not dead yet. This is fucking crazy. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Wait, did I not? Oh, thank the lords. The hyper voice fucking saved my ass. Okay, fucking hell. If it wasn't for that fucking Logan... If it was anything but that Logan that she just didn't need to set up that field, I would have been fine, because I would have just, like, thrown my own shit. Let's just throw a Pokeball at this Vaporeon and see what it has. Six-star raid. I'm actually surprised that with this setup I was able to solo it. It was still very hard. Still managed to beat it though, first try. Close! Hey, we got a bitter Herbal Mystica! Exactly what I asked for. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> see what... Uh, if this one has a... Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Hidden ability. I don't even know what the hidden ability of Vaporeon is. What is uh, Vaporeon's hidden ability? Roto to to to. Is he gonna scold me? Yordi, this is shock! You just saw the terrestrial energy reading from one of the black crystals this pair a moment ago. Do you know anything about that? I won! What? You battled the Pokemon there? Huh. I thought I made it clear that it was too risky. Well, in any case, I'm just glad you're okay, Yordi. Your efforts have helped us come to understand the laws of governing terrestrial energy emission. Thanks for your help. I'm sending you something as a thank you gift. 
Only 10k and sacrificed my life here, yo. You told me not to go in there and I only got 10k. Still, even after all this, it seems that the amount of energy being emitted is slowly growing. That means we can may continue to see more black crystals appearing in the future. I don't imagine you'll listen to me even though I've tried to stop you. So I won't be too firm with you, but please continue to be careful out there. By the way, Director Kelful will be madder than a rampaging primate if he finds out, so let's keep this between us. Talk to you later. There's Director Kalvel being like, What am I hearing about Yordi, Master Yordi, actually challenging the fucking raid terra battles? Of, uh, b -b 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 <laughs> Level 75, though, is not bad. Terra type fire. Hydration. I mean, cure. <sighs> I don't know, fam. Is that any good? Oh, let me go have a look at that, because uh, Yordi is curious. Vaporeon. Not the meme, thank you. Uh, Cerebeam. Honestly, I don't know which game has... Which site is the best for information. Yeah, Hydration is literally the hidden ability. Even though Water Absorb is like 10 times better. You explain Pokemon logic to me, I don't know. Uh, Pokemon logic is no logic in my ears. It's just like, ah, just go with it. <laughs> don't, don't tell that to all the competitive players that uh, try uh, spend hours and years and months trying to figure out uh, how Pokemon works. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I had a little fun. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a shiny go-go? Oh, sheep? No. It was just too far away. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, no, sorry guys. I got distracted again. I, I thought I saw a shiny... You guys can see it, but... <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so, uh... Tomorrow, drawing stream, most fucking likely. Uh, my hair is just going Super Saiyan if I do that. I'm having issues warding. So, uh, let me try this again. Thank you all very much for watching. This is the first time we streamed with the new setup. Like, I don't know if anyone can tell, but we have, like, this wider area around me. It feels a lot wider. I have a new desk, and I actually didn't show what it could do. I can, like, raise my desk up. <laughs> I wanted to actually show that, but I haven't actually had the chance for that yet. Uh, we got a new mic. Uh, it finally managed to work fairly well. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been going to mayhem. Uh, I still need to figure out my volume settings every now and then for that. I think I fixed it mostly that it does what the previous mic did. The previous mic was good, it was a real studio mic, but it was too heavy to like just put on my desk and uh, it was just getting in the way. I haven't showed off my actual ta drawing tablet. It's humongous, it's uh, literally bigger than both my monitors. <laughs> it's literally insane, I love it. Uh, we'll be drawing on that sooner or later while we're doing new uh, thumbnails and just art and OCs and whatever or not. Uh, new speaker set. For me, that's very nice because my other speaker set only had my left speaker working and now I have both and I can actually have decent control over it from, like, near. So, yeah. Um, next stop is probably grinding six-star raids. Most likely. I don't know how we're gonna do that yet. Um, there might be some discords that I can go into and see if people will allow me to join. And uh, that's it. So, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening, day, and night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and until the very next time, adios.